think we should be good to go. Cool. I think we should be all good, and there we are live on the page as well. So, real quick, let me do something to push this to go live. Hang on one second. Cool, we're good, we're good, we're good. Nice! We are live, and we are good to go doing another AMA stream here, talking Black Ops 4. What's up, Garlic? What's up, uh, Erzin? What's up, Power Strike? What's up, Mars? What's up, Casper? What's up, Jaden? Hey, how are you guys doing this month, Tuesday? Dude, I'm telling you, I don't know, like, what day it is at all, ever. I'm just so out of it, but... What's up, AR-15? What's up, uh, Yorin? What's up, David? What's up, Black? Uh, what's up, Lindo? What's up, Trends? What's up, Raging Powder? What's up, Mint Fresh? Iron Skull? How you guys doing? Thank you guys all so much for coming to support the stream. Greatly appreciate it. And, uh, South Africa? Dude, that's awesome. What's up, Brandon? How you doing, bro? Yeah, thank you guys all so much. Thank you all so much for coming out supporting stream. We're gonna be doing another live AMA type of deal here. It's answering some questions live, talking Black Ops 4... All that good stuff. We'll have a video going live later tonight as well. But wanted to take a little bit of time. I had some free time in the day, and I figured, you know what? Let's talk Black Ops 4. And the easiest way that I know to do that is simply starting up a stream, getting your questions, and having a dialogue on all of it. So, what's up, Greg? Um, what's up, Hunt? How you doing, man? Um, sorry, I'm looking at all the names, trying to see who I already said what's up to. Oh, what's up, Barry? What's up, Oliver? Um, still live? What's up, man? How you doing, dude? What's up, Trends? What's up, Pugs? What's up, Peter? It is Tuesday. Yes, you're right. Uh, what's the favorite gun that you use? So, it's not what you're seeing right now. The MX-9 was uh, was very good, but my favorite had to be the uh, the Rampart 17. To me, that thing was absolutely fantastic in every single way. It felt just like the Scar H. Um, South Florida? My man, what's good? I love Florida. That's one of my favorite places in the States to be. Love Florida so much. Any info on Zombies DLC, free or not? You're, the rumor you're talking about is the same one I've heard, but I have no confirmation. What's up, JCC? Uh, is there a scar on Black Ops 4? Yeah, so the one weapon that you'll end up seeing is called the Rampart 17. It's not the scar, but it is very much so like the scar. Um, what's good, Baxter? How you doing, man? What's up, Batman? Will there be any challenges? Yeah, absolutely. Fast or slow gameplay? Um, so... The way that I like to, uh, like, describe this is that it feels very much so like Black Ops 2, but with the Black Ops 3 aesthetic. So, gameplay-wise and, like, core mechanics, it feels very similar to, like, the pace of Black Ops 2. There were multiple times throughout the, probably about hour of gameplay that I had where I just sat down and I was like, you know what, dude? This is exactly what I felt when I was running flags on standoff, capturing hard points and, um, uh, in, in, in raid. So, like, there was a lot of different similar similarities where I was just like, you know what, dude, this feels a lot like Black Ops 2. So, if you like that pace of everything, I don't think you'll have an issue whatsoever. Uh, when's the beta coming out? At the moment, we don't know. Uh, I'm going to assume end of June, early July, just because, like, that would, with the with the up time schedule on when everything happens, that's when it normally, like, will, I mean, that, that makes sense to me. Because if you wait a little too long, wait until the end of July, uh, maybe into, uh, into August, you start to push out then when there won't be any sort of time frame, um, for the game to actually have changes done. That's the one thing that, like, Infinite Warfare's beta, not a lot of people realize this, but when Infinite Warfare had its beta, the game was already pressed to gold, which means the final build of the game was solidified, there were no changes made to it, it was already being pressed to disc. So, whenever that beta happened, there really wasn't anything you could accurately do other than take note of things to put in the, uh, the day one update. Safeguard, we don't have Safeguard uh, available to us in the build that we played at the reveal event. Um, unfortunately, that's something that, I mean, it was a fun mode to play, but I don't know if it will be coming back. This new, this is a new mode you're watching right now, it's called Control, where it's basically like a hard point slash domination mixed with search and destroy. Um, because you have to capture if you're there, my team is defending at this point when we're watching this gameplay. Um, but you gotta defend or capture the two objectives, A or B, um, and you gotta capture it like a hard point would, but it's, it's a sort of like build up, like a domination flag would have. Uh, and there are checkpoints that you can end up getting so far into it. I think there's like three checkpoints per zone um, that it'll reset, or if it's past that, if it hits that checkpoint, it'll stay there. But you only have a total of 25 lives for both teams uh, across the board. So it really comes down to a thing of if you can play eliminations or if you can play the capture. So it's kind of a cool way to do it, I think. Um, definitely a lot of fun, and it, it's going to be something very competitive. I think this is going to be a great mode moving forward into Black Ops 4. Um, definitely excited to see like what potential it has, both on a competitive standpoint and just how well it's received in the public. It was a lot of fun when we played it, but... Uh, is there is it hard to get multi-kills because of this low TTK? Honestly, no, I don't think so. Uh, I mean, it's probably it's probably gonna take one or two more shots, uh, depending because headshots actually matter in this game. So if you can play for headshots, it'll be a lot easier. Um, but that's something that 
I still got a couple of a uh, couple of multi kills in the gameplay. I don't remember if it's in these specific clips you'll be watching, but I do remember getting a couple. I, I think I got a triple at one point. Almost, I choked a quad. Um, but yeah. What's up, Divine? How you doing, man? Ground War, there's nothing said about Ground War, and it's not going to be the same in, like, the, the Ground War that we know of, uh, if there is. But lobbies do support up to 14 players, so maybe we end up seeing 7v7 as Ground War, but we'll see. Uh, Pre-order today? Nice, man. Do you think Black Ops will be third person? Um, truthfully, I hope that there is a, uh, a first and third person, like a, a sort of approach that PUBG took. What are the odds we play, uh, run each other playing War? Oh, I have no idea, dude. Should have a third uh, weapon slot. Yeah, that'd be cool, yeah. Um, but again, it, it comes down to the whole thing of like uh, the... You talking like melees by default? Because that'd be awesome. Um, is there the PDW in this game? Yeah, the weapon we were actually just using a, a few seconds back was called the Cordite. It's not the PDW in a sense, but it is very once so reminiscent of the PDW. Uh, can you swap your healing syringe for another grenade? Yes. Um, so, actually wait, not for another grenade. I lied. That's, uh, grenades are your right bumper. Healing in body armor is for the, uh, well, healing is for the left bumper, but it's always going to be healing. Like you'll see right here, I don't have the instant syringe, so it takes a little bit of time to actually regenerate. Um, so that's the default, like, built-in health is, is L1. Um, but yeah, all your, like, lethals and tacticals are tied to your R1, which you can only take one, which is kind of the unfortunate part, but it is what it is. I don't even know if it's going to happen, uh, Splat 7v7. I'm just saying that lobbies can support up to that. Uh, how am I playing this right now? I am not. This was recorded last week out at the Reveal event, and we've been doing a series of AMA stuff on uh, on YouTube here. Just a little live stream showcasing some gameplay and talking about it casually. Uh, had some extra free time today. I actually finished up a lot of what I needed to do already, so I was like, you know what? Let's throw on a stream. Let's talk some Black Ops 4. Everybody get some questions out of the way if people need to uh, have those answered, but... Uh, what's up, Amar? How you doing, man? Is the DSR in this game? No. So the snipers that we had were the uh, Koshka and the um, H HBR-50 or something like that. The HBR um, is very similar to that of the Barrett 50 cal, and the Koshka is one that we haven't really seen just yet. Um, hold triangle for a super fast... That wouldn't really work out, though, because our streaks are tied to triangle, unfortunately. Um... Do you know something about leveling the characters? No, unfortunately I don't. We didn't really, all we did was play, uh, it was a local, local match on land, so we didn't actually have a sort of ranking system for these, because it, in these sort of expos, it's, it's built for people to get in and get out and just get some gameplay experience with it, so there's not anything tied to leveling with those, unfortunately. So I have absolutely no clue on how the leveling system will work. I'm assuming it's going to be still like 10 prestiges, and as of the last couple of years, we've seen a thousand levels added in, so I'm going to guess that it's 10 prestiges, maybe like... 55, 65 uh, for the like max level, and then a level 1,000 upwards after that. But is the sliding similar to Black Ops 3? Yeah, just think think sliding, but without the like extra thrust it gives you. Uh, is that the scar? Yeah, it's very similar to the scar. Yeah, I'm not playing live right now. My hands are off the controller. This was once again recorded last week, actually out at the reveal event in Los Angeles. Uh, do I know when the Prey of Beta will uh, drop? Unfortunately, I don't. My guess again will be like late June, early July. Maybe a little bit into mid and late July, but right around that time frame is my guess. But hello from Pakistan. What's up, exceptional? How you doing, bro? Thank you for coming out to the stream. Are you using the game's version of the scar? Yeah, this it, again, it very much reminded me of the scar. There's not actually a weapon in the game called the scar. Oh, excuse me. I just had Chipotle and I'm burping up a storm. Uh, have I seen Dark Matter in this game? No, unfortunately not. Uh, camos are something that are very much so secondary in the terms of like the build of the game. Um, so we probably won't see any camos until the actual launch of the game. So that said, early October when like pre-release copies start going out and people start getting their hands on it early, that's probably when the earliest things of camos you'll end up seeing come out. But uh, as for the beta, I don't even think we'll see that in the beta, but we'll see. Uh, is rushing and healing effective? If you have the stim shot, yes, absolutely. If you have um, the just standard healing, not so much. Uh, is there HQ? We actually didn't have access to that, but I would definitely like to see that feature return. Is the Vesper or PPSH from Black Ops 3 in the game? Um, we actually didn't see any fast firing uh, weapons in the game build that we had to us at the reveal event. So let me try and pull up... Oh, that's my notes for my talking notes. Uh, so yeah, the SMGs that we had were the MX-9, the Cordite, and the SOG 9mm. Um, so the SOG is very similar to the MP7 or... Maybe even comparable to the um, MSMC, 
Uh, the MX-9 is very similar to the CUDA and the Vector, uh, and the Cordite is very similar to the PDW. So in that sense, uh, those are the SMGs we have, but again, that's not the full list, so it's very possible we get something similar to the Vesper or the, the PPSH, uh, in terms of fire rate, at least. What's up, Scotty? How you doing, bro? Um, what are your thoughts on Blackout? Super excited for it. I am a huge fan of uh, BR stuff, so definitely, if you tell me there's going to be some solid BR gameplay in it, I'm going to be playing it like mad. I think they'll bring back the M8. Um, the I think it's the Swordfish is very similar to the M8 in terms of the burst qualities. But I, I haven't played with it personally, but uh, from the people that have, they told me it's relatively weak, so I don't know exactly. There are different types of healing. Yeah, there's two different types. Same mechanics and everything, though. It's all tied to your L1 spot. Um, but that's something where you can either take one that's the stim shot. It's an ability that will take up, like, one of your, uh, one of your abilities. And so, therefore, you won't have, say, body armor. You won't be able to have the hard line of this game. Um, so that's in place of that kind of stuff, but then there also is the default healing, which takes a little bit of extra time. Uh, I don't know if it's in this game, you'll see, but the last game that we just showcased, there was that, I just had the regular healing, where it takes six seconds or so to regen after you do it, but also the healing is gradual, it's not instantaneous. Stim Shot, however, on the other hand, is something that regens very quickly, but the actual, like, health that it gives you back is instant. So whether or not you're at 2 HP or 149, it's gonna get you up to 150 at the same exact point. Um... You trying to get clapped for some V-Bucks? You might be in the wrong game here at that one, but... <laughs> uh, are they... Are there any changes? Like, are you make, are, are you asking if they're going to make changes? Absolutely, yes. Why 5v5? I actually don't know. Um, personally, though, whenever I played it, it did not feel all that bad compared to, like, the pace that you'd see at 6v6. So you're not really gonna miss out on all that much, but it is possible. Yeah, like... Illinois is my city. Like Spike, you brought it up. Yeah, if you guys are enjoying the stream, make sure you drop a like down below. We got 340, 350 people up in here. It's varying. Uh, if you guys want to drop a like down below, if you guys are enjoying the stream, feel free to. Let's try and get to 100 likes real quick. Lickety split, you know. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding Call of Duty Black Ops 4. We're going to keep you guys up to date with anything you need to know about the game. Uh, I'm super excited for the content we have coming out over the next course of... I don't know, days to weeks, whatever it may be. But uh, we're going to have a lot of cool stuff that I think you guys will enjoy. And uh, if you guys are interested in any of that, feel free to hit that like button down below. But, dude, I don't know why whenever I tab out, it always, like, my right monitor always kicks out whatever I'm doing on the left. Always. It's so annoying. <laughs> Nuketown, yeah, I was going to say, there's something that, uh, it's not confirmed, but Vaughn totally tweeted about it. He was, he was saying that, you remember that time when you made Nuketown once, twice, three, and dot, dot, dot? Like... Uh, we leave World War II for Black Ops 4. Well, it's going to be the current game, so um, if there is new content, I'll definitely still make stuff on it. But once October comes around, Black Ops 4 is probably going to be the main priority. Uh, how do assists work? So it actually gives you relatively uh, score in line with if you were to get the kill. Uh, because it tracks damage dealt, not necessarily actual kills. Um, am I worried about how they're going to monetize the Battle Royale mode? Um... Love you, Brits. Hey, firstly, thank you for the uh, for the, the kind words. I'm glad you enjoyed the videos. But uh, you're talking, like, in the sense that it's not going to be free to play? Kind of. And I think that might limit a little bit of the, the player counts, um, which I was really hoping the initial rumors... Because I don't know if you guys remember, it, said, it was said that Raven was going to be working on, like, a standalone type of thing for Battle Royale that's going to be, like, not connected to, but synonymous with what the current title is. So Black Ops 4 would get that support for Black Ops 4 content in the Battle Royale. Then moving forward, you'd have Modern Warfare 4, theoretically, and then Modern Warfare 4 content in Battle Royale, um, where it'd be the free-to-play for the, the Battle Royale stuff, but the actual game itself would still be the paid $40 to $60. Uh, I would really hope to see that it still is like that, but I think that it is going to be something where it is tied. At least Blackout is tethered to Black Ops 4, which I think, again... Could potentially hurt the player numbers because it is going to be something you have to pay for to get access to multiplayer, zombies, and then battle royale. But I guess we'll see. Do you think they'll remove the healing stuff? No, unfortunately not. I think that it's going to be something that is at least the mechanic going forward through Black Ops 4. Uh, admittedly, though, it's not all that bad. It is something that you start to get very used to it very quickly. It was second nature to me by the end of my first game. Um, so it's not that hard to get used to it. But again, it is something that is a big breakaway from what we've known for Call of Duty and forever. Did I play the specialist missions? I did not, but I'm very much so looking forward to it. Um, all we had was about three maps and four modes available to play for us. I actually didn't even get to play all four modes, but we had domination, control, and then um, hardpoint as well. But definitely very much so looking forward to the specialist missions because I think that's going to be very cool to play into the uh, the backstory. 
of everything. Very much so looking forward to that. And I actually have a video detailing all of that kind of stuff later tonight. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you stick around for that one. But are tacticals still a thing? Yeah, they're actually thrown in the mix with lethals and tacticals. And you can only take one of them. You can't take both. Um, and they're tied to your R1 slot. So on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, doesn't matter which. It'll be your, like, your, your right bumper. Uh, that's going to be where everything is tethered to. Uh, so you have to choose between... Uh, actually, let me pull up my notes again just so I'm 100% accurate on this thing. Um, you have to choose between the special issue, which is like your specialist ability, uh, or you can end up having the choice of a trophy system, Molotov, Frag Grenade, Concussion, or a Combat Axe. That's what we had available to us at this build uh, at the reveal event. It's totally possible there's more stuff thrown in the mix at, upon the beta and then the full release of the game. But for what we had, that was the available stuff available to us. What's up, Zach? How you doing, man? Uh, what's my favorite specialist? I actually didn't get to play around with all of them, so unfortunately, I, I don't know if I can give you an accurate answer for that one. Can you take your hat off? Mm, bad hair day, so no. <laughs> but uh, do you think Black Ops 4 will improve graphics uh, at the launch? I actually don't know. Uh, that's a good question. I know this is early build and early alpha, but uh, maybe in terms of a little bit more detail, but I don't think they're going to change like the whole graphical standards, because this is, again, very is reminiscent of Black Ops 3. I think it's still going to be the same sort of situation. Um, since these Black Ops 4 guns are so OP, isn't the time to kill the same, uh, in respect? Um, I don't think I would say weapons are overpowered. I would say they're unbalanced right now. Because there are definitely weapons that are better than others, but that's something that, in a pre-release, like, alpha build, you're going to have that every single time. Um, time to kill, I don't know if it'll decrease, simply because you do have more health across the board. It's 150 instead of 100 as the max. So I'm not sure. What's up, Matthew? Uh, will there be a season pass? I actually don't know. Uh, we discussed that in a video yesterday. I mean, I don't know if it actually hit sub boxes because it was uh, relatively below where my, my normal videos sit. Or maybe it was just a dud. I don't know. But we talked about that a little bit in yesterday's video. But uh, the rumor is that the multiplayer aspect of Black Ops 4 will actually have free content very similar to uh, the Modern Warfare 3 Elite system for DLC. Uh, in which that's something that drops new content every single month. And you have the option to, in Elite at least, so it might differ from this regard. In Elite you had the ability to be a free member or a subscription member. Uh, to which subscription members got a little bit more stuff here with that. But essentially it boiled down to content coming out every single month and keeping players engaged in that aspect and there really wasn't a season pass uh so it's like the rumor has it that it's going to go back to that similar scenario um we don't know at the moment but there would be essentially in that season pass uh or however the dlc works more dlc though for zombies and then blackout as well because zombies apparently has two dlc maps coming each from what i've heard like in terms of rumors i don't know that's not any inside information so take that with a grain of salt um but Apparently we're going to have more content with that as well, so we'll see all that all shakes up. But uh, what's up with the dog in the trailer? That's actually a specialist companion. Um, so I think it's Nomad, it looks like. But our shotgun's good. Danger Dude, uh, there was one shotgun available to us, and honestly, I hated it. It was very weak. I think not this game uh, on this map, but the next game will showcase. I use it, and I get a double kill, but they were both weak. That's the only reason I pulled off a double kill with it. But other than that, it took, like, I got three, four hit markers sometimes. Do you think it's worth it to get a PS4 Pro for somebody that only plays COD? Um, no, I think you could honestly save your money. Uh, especially because, like, I just heard a report that PS4 is going to be done by the, uh, the, by 2021. So that'll be interesting if it keeps moving forward or not. But am I going to live stream zombies? Oh, dude, absolutely. I don't know a lot of you guys if you are into zombies, but I love Treyarch zombies, like, more than anything. Like, I, I'm a diehard with that kind of stuff. I might not show it, but totally am. Uh, once the guys, wait, when you guys played it, was it on the base? I think it was probably the pro, uh, simply because they, they mentioned they were partners with, with PlayStation, but they didn't actually say, like, if any exclusivity was coming with that, or we didn't actually get to see the consoles either, because the way the setups work is it's like a mobile desk setup, where you have a main, like, middle pillar, where, like, everything is shelved underneath and it's paneled off, and then you have the desk on top, and then that's where, like, the monitors and, like, the, the controllers are fed up through and all that kind of stuff. Um, so we didn't actually see the actual consoles themselves, but I would assume that it ends up being the very similar situation, like it is going to be something of PS4 Pros. Just because, you know, when we played on it, why not give your partners the best thing, right? When's the next E3? June 12th, I believe. Um, what's the weapon variant today? I, I actually don't know the weapon order. I haven't been on play, uh, World War II just yet. Um, but I do know the contract is the Type 38 for this week's weapon contract, so that'll be cool. 
What time does Black Ops 4 take place? In between Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3. So it's a prequel to Black Ops, uh, Black Ops 3 in that sense. Uh, are the specialists overpowered? No, I think they're more so dumbed down than what Black Ops 3 had, actually. So I think they're weaker. Um, seems like a lot of people are running into issues choosing between reloading or healing after a gunfight. What do you think could be... I think that if you end up having that same guns up mentality where you can do both, I think that'd be fantastic. I don't know if they'll adjust it as such. I would very much so like to see that, but I have no idea. Any info on competitive? Uh, if you watch the keynote, the only thing that there was announced and the only thing that I have is that League Play is returning, and apparently it's very similar to Black Ops 2, so I'd love to see that. Uh, I know that there was the attempt to make League Play in Black Ops 3, but I just... Nobody really played that, at least not to my knowledge. Uh, League Play in Black Ops 2, though, dude, I lived on that. I finished uh, MP for Black Ops 2 in, I believe, January. Uh, I, dude, I grinded that game out so much. But uh, after that, I literally played the rest of the lifespan of Black Ops 2 on League Play. So, like, if it can get anywhere near what League Play was in Black Ops 2, I'm playing, like, mad out of that. Alright, take it easy. Take it easy, Mr. Random. Uh, when will the beta come out? Probably uh, end, of Ju end of June, early July. That's my guess. We don't know, though. Shout out to you, Joe. Love your vids. Hey, thank you, Supreme. I appreciate that, man. Are you excited for the new storyline of Zombies or Premise Crew coming back? I have faith, faith in Treyarch. Um... Craig Houston and Blundell, I, I, I've, they're truly brilliant people. I've met Blundell, have not met Craig Houston. Uh, and just from the few conversations that I've had with Blundell, the dude not only loves what he does and is very passionate about the storyline itself, so that gives me faith and, and hope with that, but the dude's just brilliant. Like, he twists everything. If you think that there's a twist in zombies, dude, he twists your regular conversation so you have no idea what's going on. And it's like, this guy is actually like this. <laughs> So he lives for that cryptic stuff, and so I'm, I'm very, very hopeful that Black Ops 4 will deliver not only a new storyline that's great, but also continue the storyline of Premise in a fantastic way. Um, but, that said, score streaks are good. Yeah, dude, I thought they were actually very good. Uh, 2045 is the time setting. I don't think that we had any confirmation of that, uh, unless something recently came out, but that is relatively in line, yes. Uh, should stem packs be removed? No, I don't think so. I think they need to be adjusted, but I don't think they should be be removed. Do you think they'll have split screen for both MP and Battle Royale? Battle Royale will be a lot tougher in terms of doing split screen with, but I guess we'll see in time. Uh, is Black Ops 4's timeline before Black Ops 3? Yes. So, old guy here played COD from the beginning, but quit around Black Ops 2, so I have no experience with specialists from what I saw. You have to choose. Yeah, so specialists is something you have to choose, but you don't have to use their abilities. Um, so, specialist essentially just like builds in some things into pre-made classes though they're not really pre-made um what do you see being changed in the final build uh weapon balance definitely is the big thing uh maybe some lines of sight on maps i know that like maps are actually still tweaked relatively um i'd like to see some adjustments made to stim shot because it is relatively overpowered at the moment um it is something not only instantaneously to regenerate your health all the way back up to full but it recharges so much faster than the regular health mechanic so, you'll see in this, this is the regular health mechanic here. It takes, again, six, seven, eight seconds even, maybe, uh, before you actually can use it again. But, stim is almost like that. Was ammo feeling low? Nah, ammo felt okay. Um, I needed to wean myself off of it because World War II, for whatever reason, is the only game that, like, I ever felt like I didn't need scavenger. Um, but Black Ops 3, I ran scavenger religiously. So, it definitely felt kind of weird running out of ammo, um, but that's just me. Do you think there's going to be dogs swarm type streak? Uh, yeah, maybe. Trevor, thank you for the sub, man. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the channel. Be honest, do I like Black Ops 4? Honestly, dude, I said it before. I think it is way too early for me to give a like, dislike, love, hate type of report on it. I only played about an hour, so three games. Um, but the thing that I will say is that I had fun. So, I did enjoy it in that capacity. It's something that I really did enjoy my first look at it. Um, and I'm not just saying that. I'm a true fan of Treyarch games, I'm a true fan of Black Ops, so if there's any game that, like, I'm 100% already going to be maybe biased with, it's probably gonna be this game. Uh, but I did have a lot of fun with it. Compared to Overwatch, is it still really that much team-based, or could you still play independently? I think you can still play independently. Uh, what's up, Saw? How you doing, dude? This is not live get- No, the title says Live AMA. So, this was recorded last week at the reveal event. How's the minimap? Uh, it's definitely interesting. It's definitely a curveball. Uh, the one big thing, though, of course, that you know with the Fog of War is that you don't see the entire map. So, in a sense of new mechanics and new engine, like, 
reworks. I think it's very cool that we end up seeing, like, wherever you look, showcases and highlights part of the map. But, like, I'm not really too bothered by it, because when you look at it, the actual mini-map itself, you can still see relatively, like, the, the, the main avenues and corridors, and it's still actually the same in the sense of if an enemy shoots, they'll show up. If they you have a UAV, you'll still see them on the UAV. Um, so the only thing that really it differs is that it highlights a little bit more when you're looking at it, or your teammates looking at it, but... Is there any punching, like, in Black Ops 3? Yes. Um, do you think they... Wait, do you think they got a perk that can hear footsteps? Um, so that's actually, um, there's an ability that you can swap out for stim shot and body armor. It's called Acoustic Sensor, which actually does that. Right now, it's not a perk, but it is an ability. What's up, Grandma? How you doing, man? What's up, End Gaming? How long have I played? I probably played about an hour when I was at the reveal event. Um, are there any mines? I don't recall. I know there weren't any in the tacticals, uh, like in the tactical or lethals. But I don't recall if there's anything built into a specialist. I didn't come across any. And actually, one thing that is nice about Black Ops 4 is that, truthfully, dude, there's, like, no grenade spam at all. The entire time, I don't think you'll see in this entire gameplay, I got killed by an explosive once. So that's the nice thing that, like, kind of tying in the specialist stuff with the tacticals and lethals, you definitely see a, a decrease in the amount of stuff that you end up, like, dying in garbage ways or something like that. Subscribe. Hey, thank you, Jose. Appreciate that, man. I don't like the minimap. Do you like it? Um, like I said, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of impartial to it. You can still relatively see the same thing. The only thing is it's dimmed off where your teammates and you are not looking. But you can still see people on the minimap if they shoot. You can still see them if they if you have a UAV active, all that kind of stuff. Uh, is there a sixth sense in this game? Actually, if you watch them, the gameplay on this game in particular, um, I think it's built into Firebreak, but yes, there is. But it's only it's built into a specialist. I think I was using Firebreak in this game. That's, that's why I say built into Firebreak. How's my day going? It's going great. Um, again, I had some free time, so I figured let's kick up a stream, talk with some uh, some people, and have a good time. Uh, so yeah, today, I mean, it's been going well. Hopefully yours has been going well as well. As I said as well way too many times. We're going to backpedal that. Hopefully your day is going well also. There we go. Will the DLC be free? That's one of the rumors, but we don't know, actually. When the game is out, will you start a series? Uh, yeah, so the main focus on the channel is probably going to shift to Black Ops 4 once the full game comes out. But right now, obviously, we're still in World War II. Uh, we'll be doing some Black Ops 4 stuff and all that kind of, like, leading into it. And whenever there's new content to talk about, we'll definitely do that. Um, but still, World War II is, is probably the main focus of the, the channel right now. Right now, we just have, like, a lot of stuff with Black Ops 4 to talk about. Hence the uh, entirely closed, or entire coverage of the game. When is that closed beta? We don't have an ETA just yet. It was not announced, but my guess would be late June, early July, or maybe, say, mid-July. Is it confirmed that the DLC is free? Uh, unfortunately, not yet, but that's the rumor. Why are shotguns secondary? I don't know, but honestly, I don't mind them because they're very weak, so therefore, I'm not going to want to just, like, hate my life every time I play it. Where am I from? I'm from the U.S. Except for more multiplayer or blackout. Um, dude, I'm a huge BR fan, so I... That's a tough one. I'm a huge BR fan, so I might try and play him equally if I'm totally honest. Is there gore in the game? Um, yes and no. Uh, we didn't get to see all that much of it, but like you'll see that if you take shots, there's actually blood splatter that goes on your weapon and your equipment and everything. So it's kind of cool that they throw that little uh, nifty little detail in there, but have I seen the Battle Royale? I have not, unfortunately. The only thing that we've seen are a couple of the maps that you're watching through right now uh, and a couple of modes. Uh, sub hey, thank you, man. I appreciate that, dude. Personally, I don't like the new health system. Uh, I think it's unnecessary. Yeah. I understand that. Body armor does not give you 200 health, though. That's the only thing that's... that's it's placebo where it feels like you have more health, but your health is still 150. The only thing it does is it takes more of the bullet damage up front on the first three or four shots. And then after that, it's entirely done. So if you end up getting shot in the first 10 seconds and then live for five more minutes, you're not going to have the, the, the benefit of the body armor. Um, do you use any AK... 47 like guns. No, we didn't have any access to that, unfortunately, but uh, is there a hardcore mode? We had no access to that either. Um, the build that we had is a very dumbed down and very, like, confined build of the game, so there's a lot of stuff we did not see. Uh, Blackout will be first person, not third. I'm interested to see what where it goes, because we don't have any confirmation on if it is. I would like to see both, uh, very similar to how PUBG does, like, the first person servers and the third person servers. I think that'd be sweet. What's up, DS6? How you doing, man? Um... Yeah, I, I'm glad the shotguns are weak so we don't see another brekkie type thing. What are the maps called? Um, oh god, I can't remember the names off the top of my head. Um, 
crap. That's gonna drive me. That's gonna drive me nuts now. That is gonna drive me nuts. My apologies. I the one is called Seaside. The one we just finished up the gameplay of, where it's like a sort of like Venice looking feel. Um, is it confirmed the next COD is Modern Warfare 4? It's not confirmed, but there is a big rumor with that. And, a, and like to me, it makes a ton of sense. It, like, there's so much you could do still with the Modern Warfare series. Wait, Ocean. He said it was first person. Dang it! I missed that. How's the quick scope in this game? I didn't actually quick scope, but I've seen some footage and it looks really easy. Like, really easy in the sense of if you can master it, rather. Uh, what do you call in streaks? Why do you call- Oh, I don't know why they changed it. I, I truly don't. Uh, because it leaves the D-pad open for a lot of stuff. Um, what do you think of zombies? Dude, I'm super excited for zombies. I love zombies. Is it one hit melee? No, it's, uh, it's like the one hit butt and then, like, you have to finish them off still. Um... Is Ground War confirmed yet? No, but the lobbies do support up to 14 players, so it might be 7v7 Ground War. Next COD is more reasonably going to be... Oh, jeez, I hope it's not Ghost 2. If I'm totally honest. <laughs> Dang. Well, I missed that announcement then. Thanks, Ocean. Thanks for coming to the rescue. Why is there only rumors? We're so early on. We got a lot of time to figure this stuff out for sure. Um, is the gameplay like a bit like Black Ops 2? Yeah, so my... Like, best comparison, and I'm being 100% honest with you. Mechanic-wise, it feels just like Black Ops 2. Aesthetically, like, the, the the visuals and, like, the models for everything and, like, the color palette all looks like Black Ops 3, but it feels so much like Black Ops 2, and I'm super excited about that. Uh, is the game immersive? Uh, from what we played, I mean, it was it was, it was was fun. I don't know how immersive we can have off of three maps that we had available to play. Um, any chance they bring back theater mode? Dude, I sure hope so. Treyarch are my savior with that. I love theater mode so much. Dude, it makes, like, it makes getting thumbnails and stuff for YouTubers so much easier. What's up, Joe? How you doing, man? Winner Circle in Early Alpha. Um, try to think. I, I actually don't remember. I know there's play of the game. I know that you have everything, like, your, your post-game lobby menu, but I actually do not remember. Wow. That's a good question. I'm gonna have to go back and review the footage after that one. Is BO4 uh, still fun for casual players? Yeah, I think so. What's your biggest complaint about playing it so far? Uh, weapon balance definitely needs adjusted. Um, there's definitely some weapons that really stand out. And there's definitely weapons that absolutely suck. Um, Stimshot, I think, needs to have a slight nerf to it because you have your regular health, which you can do once every eight seconds or so, and it takes about four or five seconds to actually regen. But stim shot is instantaneous, and then it takes about two seconds to recharge before you can use it again. So that's something that I I don't know, man. Um, we'll see. This is actually the new play of the game. It's a cool little like cinematic sequence that it goes third person into first person. Uh, so I like that one. What's up? Oh, will the train go boom? Maybe. <laughs> Is there going to be an HQ kind of thing? We actually didn't see anything about that. I would love to see that happen, but I don't know. Um, I hope they bring back the Ballista and DSR. I think that'd be cool. Uh, we saw that the Koshka is... Koshka is probably the most, like, resemblant of the Ballista, if if I am thinking about it properly. And then the um, HBR-50, I think, is the other sniper. That's very similar to the, the Barrett 50 cal. Uh, I hope they bring... Wait... How is the specialist picking order? Okay, so this is actually a really good question. So specialist, unfortunately, the way that it's picked, I don't like it. It is a first come, first serve basis. And if you guys have heard anything about it, specialists actually can you can only pick one per match. Not like you can only pick one. You can change your specialist mid match, but there can only be one of each specialist per game. So that means that like if your team has a fire break, you can't choose fire break. If your team has a crash already, you can't choose crash. So, in that sense, it's uh, it's a one-and-done one, one and done type of thing, and the other bummer is that it's first-come, first-serve, like I said. So, if you don't pick Fire Break immediately, then you don't get Fire Break. So, that's the unfortunate part. I don't know how this is going to affect, like, challenges, because I'm assuming there's going to be specialist challenges. Uh, but, dude, it's weird. How the score streaks? They felt good. Um, they felt not, not weak, uh, not super overpowered, but they definitely felt good. Uh, would you rather campaign or blackout? See, I'm a huge fan of the, the campaign and everything like that with uh, within the Black Ops stories, but truth be told, man, I'm going to play Blackout so much more than I would a campaign. I play campaign once, maybe like upwards of three times, but Blackout, I'm going to play all the time, dudes. All the time. Does it run 60 FPS? Yeah, and I believe uh, I believe PC was actually uncapped frame rate, which is going to be awesome. 
Um, does sniping feel good? I actually did not play around with it. I asked a, a bunch of people that did play around with it a lot, and they said it felt really good to them. But, uh, hang on. Since the specialists are limited to one, t one per team, will there be no cam No, camo challenge is a thing. Unless you're talking about, like, the outfits and camos for um, the specialists. I don't know. I would assume there still are. But for weapon challenges, absolutely, there's going to be. Um, how's the score streak system work? It's very similar to, uh, to everything we've seen before. It's just, like, you accumulate score by capping, getting kills, uh, assists, all that kind of stuff. And you can also, like, your specialist stuff will do... Uh, you'll, get, you'll get points for that as well. So, like, if you say... I think, uh, not in this game, but the other game we end up having. I think that I ended up using the barbed wire and somebody ran through it and you get points for dealing damage to them at that. So, uh, the specialist selection, yeah, not gonna be ideal for, for, um, solo players. I'm hoping that's actually changed because I, I'm a solo player at heart. I play a lot of games solo and that's gonna be a bummer. Absolutely. Zombies are multiplayer, multiplayer for me, but zombies, especially Treyarch zombies is a very close second. Um, yeah, so for those of you guys asking, this is pre-recorded. My hands are off the controller. This was actually captured out at the reveal event last week. Uh, ended up going out there. Activision and Treyarch invited me out to capture footage for you guys. So huge thank you to them. Um, huge thank you to you guys for coming out to support the stream as well. We got almost 500 people up here. We, we've been going up and down, like above and below. Truly appreciate you guys coming out, supporting your, uh, spending your Tuesday with me, supporting the channel, supporting the stream. If you guys are enjoying the stream, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing. Regarding Black Ops 4 content, we're gonna do we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff here uh, in the very near future with all that kind of stuff. So I'm excited, excited to see where it goes. But um, oh my god, I don't know why it tabs out every single time, man. I literally just hit a different tab and it's like, nope. Later. How does gunplay feel? Better than World War II? Um, I don't know. It has a very very similar feel to black ops 2 and black ops 3 like a hybrid of that again i come back always to the the animations and everything the models all look and feel like black ops 3 but the gunplay and the gameplay mechanics itself feel like black ops 2 so it's kind of a little hybrid between the two um i wish they would have gone back to kill uh yeah I, I i can understand that that's the one thing i really liked about world war 2 is they added in blitzkrieg that was such a good addition i love that so much even though I always do play for, like, the objective, like, I actually play for wins probably way more than I play, like, ever for, for KD. Um, they just kind of go hand-in-hand hand with me. But, like, I still run Blitzkrieg even if I'm capping a flag. Just because, like, I, I love the idea of having to go for kills. Is create a class system the same as Black Ops 3's? Uh, yes, but it's a pick 10 instead of a pick 13. It was pick 13 in Black Ops 3, right? I'm not, I'm not crazy, right? What are my opinions on Battlefield 5? Dude, I've become so detached from the Battlefield scene and the Battlefield, like, franchise that I, I haven't really even paid attention to it. Heard it's World War 2, though, but I don't know if that's going to fare well, having just done a World War 1 game. I don't know. We'll see. But, um, did they bring, bring back Spectre as a specialist? We did not see him, actually. Um, Infinity War remains my favorite devs. Dude, that, that, like, group of people is... I, I can say this about all the, de all, all the developers. Like, they are all great people like absolutely like fascinating individuals awesome dudes um when does the beta come out uh we don't have an eta just yet my guess is late june early july tomahawk is in it yes um how is the map design bigger small small yeah definitely small it was pick 10 okay yeah i dude i i yeah i was say black or advanced warfare was pick 13 i could not for the life of me remember so yeah it is the same as black ops 3 then uh why did they remove shotguns from primaries i don't know actually but I'm happy though because now they suck, so you don't have that shotgun spam. <laughs> How's it gonna go with hardcore uh, with the medic pack? I think they can either ban that um, or they just don't allow you to use it. So that's gonna be something that it's definitely gonna still work, um, but we'll see. Is firebreaks flame core overpowered? Um, not really. I don't think so. Uh, I think I died to it once. But the thing is, is, after a certain point, I think it's after like three seconds, it does damage to you. So you can continue to do it for more damage to enemies, but you also take damage yourself. So it's an interesting balance and, and a fine line to walk. But kind of DLC weapons do I or DLC weapon system do I expect? Uh, I expect very similar to uh, Call of Duty World War II, but I also think they're also going to make it better, simply because they talked a lot about how the the system will like be what fans will want to see. So I think that we'll end up seeing free drops of those weapons and then variants if we have those or like camos or cosmetics really like padding the the supply drop system but i think that 
we're gonna have a lot of organic ways to get actual DLC weapons, which I'm totally all for. Um, do you think they'll bring back pro perks? No. But they did add something where it's kind of like pro attachments, um, because there are tiers to the attachments this time around. So, like, the one that stands out to me is high caliber 1 and 2. So, I'm gonna guess that high caliber naturally has built in the headshot multiplier like we've seen, um, in recent titles. But high... High Caliber 1 gives you more damage to the torso, and then High Caliber 2, we don't know how you rank it up, whether it's like an organic ranking system itself, or if it's something that ends up having to like be other challenge related, but if you end up ranking that up, um, you end up having the ability to also have that stack with more damage to the legs. So, it's kind of a cool little system they have in place. Um, new sub, what's up, Notorious? How you doing, man? Do you know of anything like dynamic map events? I do not. Uh, just stopping by to say, hey, hey, what's up, Sir Lance? How you doing, dude? Hopefully you're having a fantastic day. What type of changes could you... Wait, could they make to increasing fan support? Um, That's a tough one, man. I feel like a lot of the hate right now with Black Ops 4 is literally just like, <laughs> Call of Duty sucks, man. Like, I, I feel like it's just that mentality where it's the cool thing to hate on Call of Duty. Because, like, any time that I ask, like, because I, I, I am all for, like, constructive criticism and constructive feedback. Because by, by doing that, by giving, like, actual examples on what you would change, that's how you make progress. But any time that, like, I try and be like, alright, so you think that, tell me why. I never get a, respi re a reply from people. So, I I have no idea. Um, I, I mean, I think that once people warm up to this game, it's going to be a lot better. And I think the one thing that it really plays out in Black Ops 4's favor is that it looks and plays completely differently. So if it, you look at it and you're like, well, I'm not really that into it. If you play it, it's a lot different feeling than what it looks like. Um, W2S, again, gonna come back to why. What, what, is, what is your qualm with it? What is your issue with it? And how would you resolve it? Um, can you shoot while healing? Uh, right now, I don't think so. Uh, I think pretty much everything else you can, but... I, I, I was not able to heal and shoot at the same time. Do you think that Blackout mode will uh, get updates weekly? That'd be awesome. That would be awesome. Uh, thought they were supposed to bring back modern guns. Um, I mean, it's relatively not modern modern, but like it's near future. So it's still based off of realism, just not entirely the, the full concept of it. Uh, no vertical menus for console. Yeah, so the the menu system is actually really weird and I wish I could show you guys menu footage I unfortunately cannot but uh, think destiny's menu uh, and then that's what you're gonna have with black ops 4 So like it has like that scroll wheel that you have to click and drag almost to, to select things uh, Do you think this will be the best-selling cod game of all time? Um, I don't know dude uh, The community seems pretty torn with it um, But I mean I'd like to say yes just cuz like it's a fun game. I love Treyarch. I love the Black Ops franchise. I love the entire Call of Duty franchise, but I have no idea. How many players on Blackout? I don't think they confirmed yet. What's up, Tactical Warfare? How you doing, man? Um, is there no single-player campaign? Yeah, unfortunately there is not, but there is going to be specialist missions, which is going to be super cool, and I have a video actually talking about that later tonight going live on the channel. Maybe actually, I might release it early and try and put up another video, so have two videos tonight on top of this stream, but I don't know. Um... See, I don't think that there needs to be a super big uh, nerf to it, Paul. I just think that it's it's way too much of a crutch right now because it goes from having a gradual health regeneration system plus a, a relatively long cooldown in the grand scheme of things to having something that heals you instantly and then you being able to instantly use it again. So it's almost something that it's like, do you want to risk spamming it at the, the expense of such an un, like imbalance between regular and, and stim pack? Uh, so I don't, I don't think there needs to be a super big nerf, but I think that there should be some slight adjustment to it to bring them closer together. Um, am I actually playing Black Ops 4 right now? No, my hands are off the controller. This is something in which this was recorded last week at the reveal event. The live part is the AMA where I'm talking to you guys and getting your answers and feedback. Will there be leaning? We didn't see any um, in the build that we had. I can't speak, though, for PC because I think PC might have had some different mechanics in that sense. But did the Gluttony Wild Cards use one point or two out of the pick ten? Uh, I think it's just one. I think it's just one. I didn't. I didn't equip it just because. Like I, there's not really out of what we had. There's there was four perks in each tier. Uh, there were no tiers though that really was. I was like, I need all of those perks. So, what about dark matter? We didn't have any access to camos. Unfortunately, that's gonna be something that's gonna come live later. Uh, like towards the full launch of the game. Same with diamond camo. What's up, elite? How you doing, man? Man, that Chipotle is really making me burp a lot. Whoo! 
The fact I'm drinking a carbonated drink as well doesn't really help either, but... Yo, speaking of which, shout out to the lady at Chipotle for not charging me for double chicken. She's a real MVP. Um, when were we able to play the private beta? My guess is end of June, early July. We don't have an ETA confirmed for that though, but... Uh, yeah, so Dark Matter, once again, camos are going to be something we see more so closer to the launch, probably right before the launch of the game, because people will get their early release copies of the game and all that kind of stuff, but, um, yeah, in terms of, like, actually camos, we're not going to see those in this build of the, the game with the pre-alpha, and then also, uh, probably not going to see them in the beta as well. Uh, what's up, Dylan? How you doing, man? Big games always come out late in the year. Yeah, true, true. Uh, will Battle Royale be in third person? Apparently, they just confirmed it today that it was going to be in first person. Uh, gotta go. Alright, Notorious, so take it easy, man. What's up, Cox? How you doing, man? Anti- uh, Co Cox Anti-Venom? Welcome, brother. Uh, do you think the zombie season pass will cost the same as the normal season pass? Uh, I don't know. That's a really good question, because if they're not pricing multiplayer stuff in with the zombie stuff, I- I would feel like it's cheaper, but I also don't know. Because apparently there's going to be a lot more in the sense of, uh, content given to us, but I truly don't. You work at Chipotle? Hey, nice, man. I Dude, I, there was a time where I... My campus for college was probably a mile away from Chipotle, so I would literally finish up my classes every day and go to Chipotle. It got to the point where the people that worked there knew me by name and knew my order, so as soon as I walked in, they started working on it. It was kind of sad, but I was, I was like, What's up, guys? <laughs> yeah, no campaign, unfortunately, but judging by the trailers, the Titan LMG looks really underpowered. Um... I don't know, it, it actually kind of felt like one of the more balanced, like, in-between, in-the-middle-ground weapons that we played with. Um, <laughs> month of cold, I remember. <laughs> dude, that was, it's been a long walk, it's been a long ride, dude. I appreciate you being here, truly do, uh, through the entirety of that, so. Um, believe Activision is milking every successful franchise under its belt. Um, I mean, yes and no. Uh, from a business perspective, um, it, it makes a lot of sense if you don't need to take a risk to do that and continue a series on. But I totally understand what you're saying, because like if they end up doing like a Black Ops 5 and 6 and like a Modern Warfare 4, 5, 6, and 7, then 1000% I'm on board with that. But if there is actually content to be made with this, um, I'm kind of on the fence. Uh, I think they could have gone a new IP route, but... I mean, I love Black Ops so much that I'm totally cool with it. But yeah, there's definitely there's definitely the selling power of the name included with that 1,000%. Uh, would this game be better without the specialists and normals? Um, maybe. But it's also very cookie cutter at that point. Then you have pretty much a copy and paste of, of, of a different, like, the Call of Duty formula. The thing that, like, I don't mind about specialists is that it's at least different. It's not everything that we see every single year. Like, Call of Duty World War II... Is that same it, Call of Duty World War Two minus some of the different things that we've seen in terms of uh, like redesigns and menus and, and, and gameplay features? Uh, it is kind of like that whole thing where it is. It would be Call of Duty without specialists. Like that's that's kind of it. What's your number one weapon you want to return? Um, well, my favorite, the Scar H, uh, is already is the Rampart 17. Weapons that we have not seen return just yet. Uh, I'm gonna say M8. Do I work for Treyarch? No, unfortunately not. That'd be awesome, but I do not. Uh, are there dogs at Score Streak or something different? So the dog that we saw in the trailer is actually tied to, I believe it's the Nomad Specialist. We didn't get to see him or the dog in the actual gameplay itself. Um, that's something that's kind of withheld from this early alpha build, but um, I, I definitely think that that's probably going to be the only time we see a dog, uh, in a sense, in Black Ops 4. Do you think Black Ops 4 is too similar to Black Ops 3? Um, no... I understand where people say that because it very much so looks like it and it comes down to once again it looking and playing differently when you actually get your hands on the game truthfully i think that the build that we played and it may be subject to change i don't know if it will change in time with when it comes to the beta but the build that we played felt very very similar to black ops 2 so aesthetically it looks like black ops 3 and a lot of the models and stuff very much so resemble that of the the color palette the the weapon models the animations of black ops 3 but it the game felt like black ops 2 uh, are supply drops confirmed? Uh, not officially, but I can guarantee you they'll be there. Um, is this game better than Black Ops 3? Um, really comes down to personal preference. I, and again, I don't think that I had enough time to accurately say this is the X, like, whatever number ranking COD out of the franchise. I don't think that I could put a, like, designation on that just yet, but I had fun with it. That's the one thing that I will say 100%. You're awesome. Hey, thank you, Timothy. I appreciate that, man. Do you want the fog on the map to be removed? Um... You get used to it quick again. 
Uh, I, I understand where it's it's kind of unfortunate, but how'd you get to where your channel is? A lot of work and a lot of years of dedication. I think that I've been doing my channel for five or six years uh, that it's been active. I think that it's been about four years though since, since I've like been posting regularly. Um, is there a stick and move control variant? Uh, I'm not entirely sure what you mean. Is there no possibility for early access? The beta is gonna have early access, but um, like this stuff, this is this actually isn't even like something I'm on my PlayStation. This was recorded out at the reveal event in Los Angeles. Um, what, how does the game feel when you play it? Feels like Black Ops 2. Um, how many maps do you reckon will be available? I'm hoping at least 13 to 15. Hoping. Because that's the one thing that World War II totally lacked, and I'm glad that they're kind of making up for it by dropping uh, random maps here intermittently. Like we had um, Shipment 1944 drop just randomly. Totally hope that they continue doing that with World War II. But uh, the one thing that is, of course, absolutely imperative to Call of Duty and the... the replayability is the maps because i'll be 1000 percent honest with you i actually really do enjoy world war ii but i got so bored after probably the first month or two because i played all the maps so many times um that's why i, I get actually really super excited for the dlc in world war ii because it's new maps and new things to play around with outside of uh just the standard rotation of maps and that's the cool thing also with world war ii is that like the maps in the dl like if you have the dlc unfortunately you can't turn off the dlc so i might just like have regular everyday players instead of like hardcore sweaties um <laughs> but the nice thing about like the way that the system has worked is that it recognizes that you have the dlc and then it puts it in the regular rotation uh secret camo we did not have access to the camos that probably won't be something we have access to until the full launch of the game do you think there'll be uh more maps than world war ii at launch i think they have to otherwise they're just gonna have like a a, a riot start uh, what's the point of being able to play all th as the skins of your favorite characters in Blackout? If yeah, that's that's definitely interesting. I don't know. I really don't. Unless they have like some quirky audio cues for each of them. I I don't know. Uh, which color of the campaign is your favorite, and which would you like to see continued? Um, the whole Black Ops franchise. I wish that like we could pick up from Black Ops Two. Black Ops Three, in its own right, was okay, but it did not tie in enough for me with the Black Ops like story arc. Uh, like. There were, like, very few elements where they, they mentioned Menendez from Black Ops 2 and they mentioned uh, Nova 6, but that's literally it. Uh, Black Ops 3 is kind of its own standalone campaign, which if you look at it from a standalone perspective, it's actually pretty solid. Because quick rundown for you guys that don't actually know how that campaign went down. The only thing that actually really happened was the first mission. Like, the first mission is actually the end of the campaign. Um, <laughs> and again, kind of quickly, briefly summarizing that, is essentially, like... When you're in that hospital bed at the end of the first mission, that's actually, like, your life fading. And then, um, what's his name? Uh, whenever he DNIs, like, with you to try and get you to train up with everything, he's actually reliving your memories by trying to bring you back and recover you via the DNI stuff. So, it's a really, like, messed up mind mind twist. But, like, it's 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 a, like, good story on its own. But I would totally continue the Black Ops can uh, franchise from Black Ops 2. Do the guns feel balanced? No. Uh, but that's something that it's it's pre-alpha, so you gotta remember that. There's gonna be a lot of changes made to weaponry. Beta probably gonna come out end of June, early July, that's my guess. Um, we don't have an ET on it just yet, though. Hey, dudes, we just crossed 500 viewers again up, up here on the stream. Thank you guys all so much for coming out. It's playing your Tuesday here. Thank you for coming out and supporting the stream. Thank you for your interest in Black Ops 4, and hopefully you guys are enjoying. If you guys are, make sure you drop a like. Let's try and get a little like spike going. Maybe we can end up pushing closer to 300 likes here on the stream. And, of course, if you guys are new to the channel... Make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding Black Ops 4. We're going to have so much stuff to take a look at here in the next couple of days to weeks. And of course, we still keep you up to date with everything World War II related as well. Headquarters, we had no information on, unfortunately. But did I hear about Modern Warfare 4? Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see where, that, where that'll where that go out. Uh, how that'll spin out. Are you playing or just the video? I'm not playing currently, but I did play last week out in Los Angeles um, for the reveal event. And I captured all this footage you're watching uh, in the background. So that's going to be something that... Uh, I'm excited whenever the actual full beta comes out, 100%. Um, sorry, I just got a bunch of tweet notifications. Hang on, that all popped in at once. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited for the actual full beta. Definitely very much so looking forward to that. And hopefully, hopefully, that comes out sooner rather than later. I would love to play the game again. I'm I'm very much so missing it. Uh, what's your favorite weapon? Uh, Rampart 17. Feels very much so like the Scar. Um... Yeah, it might be mid-July as well, Flynn. Good point. Knife or gun bunt? Um, if you choose... The, we didn't have a secondary of a knife available, but I can only imagine there's going to be a combat knife um, in the full build of the game. But it is a... Uh, 
a, a butt mechanic where you hit him with the end of your gun, and that's a, a two-hit melee. Uh, you looking forward to league play? Dude, absolutely. Hope the car score streaks will come back. That'd be cool. Just said, hey, thank you, Gunner. Appreciate that, dude. When does it come out? October 12th, I believe. Can I subscribe to you? Sure, Dylan. Feel free to you, man. What's up, Nathan? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say no on that one, easy. <laughs> Good content. Thank you, Ballistic. I appreciate that, man. Do you like how the health works? You get used to it very quick. At first, I wasn't a big fan, but like after the end of my first game, I, it was natural. It came natural to me. Do you think the slide travels too far or too fast? No, I think it's actually very good. I think they they brought it to a pace where like Black Ops 3, you had that extra lunge and you had that extra speed and distance because of the thrusters. This, it seems relatively okay. Um, uh, Nick, I'm not going to... I don't think this one's going to... You're really going to have to worry about modding on this game. Consoles, especially, just because like it's very hard to get into the firmware um, of Xbox One and PS4 to the regular, like, regular player. PC, uh, there's a lot of different modding that happens in every single title for that, but there is fully dedicated servers now for um, the PC version, and I'm not, I'm no game engineer, but from my understanding, dedicated servers makes it a whole lot easier to negate modding and hacking, simply because people can't make a new account, they can't purchase the game again and try over again. Dedicated servers will allow uh, the developers and the, the, the anti-cheat system to pull their IP and ban the IP, so. Are the streaks good? They felt good, yeah. Uh, will there be SMD? More than likely, yes. Is there exosuits like Black Ops 3? No, sir. How many kills is it for TDM? We actually didn't get to play TDM. It was available in the build, but my group ended up... Our games lasted longer than some people's, so I didn't get to play TDM personally. Do I like 5v5? It honestly isn't that bad. You st it starts to grow on you, um, and of course, all the maps are small enough that it really doesn't feel like you're you're out of the action for too long anywhere. Is this fake? No, sir. I went out to the, loss in, uh, to the release... The not release. The reveal of Black Ops 4 in Los Angeles last week, and this is where I captured this footage. So we've been doing gameplay and showcases of this all week uh, since then. So no, this is 100% my gameplay. Ended up playing it out there in Los Angeles. So that's why we're doing a little AMA. I'm giving you guys my perspective and my information that I have uh, about the game itself. Can you run and gun with the health being so high right now? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. What Black Ops 3 specialist would you bring over to Black Ops 4? Um, Spectre and Reaper are not in this game. I would love to see them, but of course I like them because of their Black Ops 3 mechanics. Meanwhile, a lot of the specialists in this game are dumbed down, so you probably wouldn't have the same thing that we'd uh, we see with what Black Ops 4, uh, Black Ops 3 had. Am I excited for Battlefield 5? I again, I haven't I haven't really connected with the Black o or Battlefield like franchise for a while. I've I've been so distant from that. Uh, do you get a specific specific amount of the healing? No, you can do it as much as you want. Do you think all the maps are going to be as big as this map? Uh, this map is actually relatively, like, in the... If you were to take a look at the other maps in the Call of Duty franchise, it's actually relatively smaller. Um, is League Play still a team of four? That's what we don't know of just yet. The rumor is that by making everything uh, 5v5, it will bring it in line with a more competitive nature, and therefore you end up having maybe 5v5 competitive. So, I don't know. Is there quick scoping? Yes. One hell of a Q&A. Yeah, dude, we've done a couple of these up on the channel, and... I like, to, uh, I like to keep people as informed as possible, and uh, I think that, honestly, this is the, the easiest way that I can do it. Like, I can do a video any day saying, like, hey, drop me your questions, and I'll answer them down in the comments, but, like, you're only going to get around to, like, a handful of them. And so, like, in my books, if you're going to end up just doing it live, reading chat as it goes down, it'll be just so much more effective. Um, what do you think of the new game mode? Dude, I loved it, actually. Control was a lot of fun. It was, uh, for those of you guys that don't know... The gameplay is going to loop back around here soon, but Control is essentially a hard point and a uh, domination match mixed with S&D. So you can, as a defender or attacker, you need to either attack or defend a uh, one of those like locations. Um, and you have like checkpoints as well, so that like if you get so much progress, it won't go back down below. But the big caveat with the entire thing, the big catch, is that there's 25 lives per team. So you have to try and capture this objective or defend it, but also, you got to be conscious of how many lives your team has left. So once your team ends up losing the amount of lives, even if you end up having, like, just about completed both of the object objectives capturing it, and your team runs out of lives, you lose. So it's something that you got to be aware of multiple different aspects of the game. Let's go, Caps. I, uh, I'll be totally honest with you. I, I kind of want Tampa to win just because I'm a still a little salty they beat my pens. But, like, if it ha whatever happens, happens. I'm literally just watching the, the playoffs now for, like, the, the love of good hockey. So... <laughs> I'm still slightly salty, but, like, it, whatever happens, happens. 
Do I know? Do I know when the beta is? Unfortunately, not. Again, my guess would be end of June, early July. Do you know if there will be a nuke town? Uh, and it's not confirmed, but it is very much so uh, inferred. David Vonderhart talked to one of the main level designers over on Twitter, and he ended up saying all that kind of stuff. That like, you remember when I did nuke town? One time, two times, three times, and dot dot dot. So, is COD about, uh, Black Ops 4 release? Not yet. No. Do you think that the new attachment system will be balanced? Um. Yeah, I think so. What's up, McSpeedy? How you doing, man? Uh, what do you think will be the main differences from the pre-alpha you played to the beta and the full release of the game? Definitely weapon balance is probably the biggest thing. That's going to be something that's hammered out each every time that the, the community gets to play around with it. Oh my gosh. Sorry, that, that Chipotle and soda is really... Woo! Coming back for me, man. Uh, can you see the ping bar while in the game? Unfortunately, we were on land, so I have no answer to that. We weren't playing actually, like, online. Uh, is there any four-shot ARs? Um, I'm gonna say yes. I didn't actually, like, take a, take a look at the, the statistics for each of the weapons. I'm gonna say yes, just because we end up having, uh, obviously more health. It's 150. Is this the banner? No, sir. Am I gonna miss the campaign? Kind of, um... Kind of, like... But at the same time, like, I'm okay with it not being there. The only bummer that it is for me is that it's a Treyarch uh, title that's not going to have a campaign. Because I love the Treyarch uh, campaign so much. But, like, I'd play a campaign once, maybe twice, maybe three times. But if we have a blackout mode, I'm going to play Battle Royale so much more than, than if I would just, like, a, a, a campaign mode. But Will the maps be good for competitive? I think so, yeah. Uh, is this game counting kills or eliminations? Um... It keeps track of your kills and eliminations, but it, it, like, on the scoreboard, it gives you damage dealt. Yeah, I, again, Sam, the one thing that coming back to, like, the, t talking about the topic of hate with Black Ops 4 is that I think that it's just, like, the cool thing that people like to do is, like, it's cool to hate on Black Ops 4, because, again, that's one of the things that, like, I am more so one of those people that, like, will try and be uh, more methodical and, like, alright, so why do you feel that way kind of thing. So, like, that's the one thing that going into game dev... If you end up saying, like, if you want changes done, the thing with, with game dev, especially, is that just by saying, like, oh, this game sucks, like, it, oh, it's horrible, like, you're, you're not going to make any progress that way, and so you're not going to make any changes to the game. Uh, if you want actual change, that's where you have to, like, be constructive with it. So whenever I come across, like, comments like, oh, this game sucks, I'll usually try and, like, follow up, just, like, in a civil manner, be like, alright, so what would you change? What's up, Thanos? How you doing? Um, I would be like, so what would you change? What are you going to, like, what's your proposition for making the game better? never get any responses so like in that sense i i just don't see the hate as really warranted and i think that it's gonna die down eventually just because like oh new card game was released time to go hate on it like in my mind i don't know maybe i'm seeing it completely different but will they be a prestige edition yeah so apparently the uh the like special editions are gonna be shown off at e3 that's what i've heard but do you think blackout can rival fortnite uh i'm gonna say no i know that ninja said on his stream the other day that he thinks that it's possible but it has to be done perfectly i don't think so the big difference is that Blackout's not going to be free to play if it's tethered with Black Ops 4. There's not that standard, like, unique thing of building where it offers a, a different aspect of the game than any other BR does. But I definitely think that it can rival, and I think it definitely will take over where PUBG is. Um, will they add Infected? I'm hoping so. Celtics or Cavaliers? Uh, honestly, I don't really follow basketball all that much, but, uh, I mean... I did see some interesting stats about LeBron James when he's down, like when his team is down, and I think they won last night, right? So it's now 2-2. How's sniping? Um, it was, I mean, I didn't play around with it. I've heard it's okay. Uh, there's no aim assist from what, like, the build we had, so that's something to keep in mind, but it's also something that, um, once you get past that, it's, it's definitely worth. Is the injection the only way to heal? Yes, sir. Uh, how would FFA work with no kills? Uh, what, it still tracks kills. Um, it just doesn't, like, the game modes that we played, it doesn't necessarily show them on the scoreboard. So you'll see, like, if if I pull up the scoreboard, and I don't know if I do pull it up at all in this footage, um, in the bottom left you'll see like EKIA, EKIA, um, EKIA, and then depths and all that kind of stuff. But uh, did you try to boost jump when you were playing Black Ops Four? No, there's there is no boost jump, fortunately. Love the cut. Thank you, man. I appreciate it, dude. Oh, H one Z one, dude. I I I love that game so much, but like. Ah, uh, Daybreak did it in for themselves, man. They 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 had something golden and they threw it away. Is this the beta? No, unfortunately not. 
Is there a campaign? No, unfortunately not. Is Blackout going to have squads? Good question. I don't know. We didn't get to see anything in terms of uh, Blackout gameplay. Uh, this is actually pre-alpha gameplay. So I recorded this out at the reveal event last week. Um, can you try out TDM? Unfortunately, I don't have control of this stuff right now, and we didn't have any TDM gameplay uh, at the event. What's up, Faded? How you doing, man? Uh, what are the bad things that you figured? Um, so again, the, the things that really I think just need to come come down to some working is the the weapon balance. Um, I would love to see some slight adjustment to stim shot because again, the the distinguishing factors between regular health regen and stim shot is that one, it's instantaneous. Regular health regen still takes about your like. I don't know, four or five seconds that you have to initiate it first. And then there's a cooldown period of about three extra seconds or so. So you can't spam it. But Stim Shot is instantaneous, no gradual health regeneration. Whether you're at 2 HP or 149, you're going to get to 150, which is the max. The same amount of time. And then in about two seconds, you can do it again. So you can spam that essentially, which is interesting. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that. So I'm hoping there's slightly something um, that what's... That, uh, that's something that I'm slightly hoping is adjusted in some way. I don't want it completely nerfed to oblivion, but I just want something to kind of equal it out or bring like the the two opposite polar ends closer together. Because um, right now stim shot is definitely a crutch uh, uh, gear set or like ability. Um, would I tickle with his feet? Uh, interesting question. H1Z1 released BR. Surprisingly, it did not. It actually um, came around in I believe Arma. It was a mod in Arma. Uh, do you think Blackout will have the downgraded graphics to handle one for dude? That's the one thing is that truly I don't know how they're gonna do Blackout. Blackout is definitely gonna need to do something different in terms of a new engine, a new something to drastically improve what the game itself can can handle. Because as it stands right now, dude, like we saw issues with World War II just trying to handle the headquarters, which is 48 people if I'm not mistaken, like max. So. If you're trying to make a game with a significantly larger map than we've ever seen in Call of Duty, the entire franchise, plus throw in vehicles, weapon spawns, loot spawns, and then 100 plus players, dude, that is going to murder the current engine. Murder it. Like, it's... There's going to be something that needs to be done. I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know how they can go around that unless it's like... That was my thing that I was kind of hoping that the game would be standard, um, a standalone game and not like synonymous with or rather grouped with uh, a Black Ops 4 or Modern Warfare 4 is because then it slightly relies on the same engine. And then that kind of very much so limits the game potential. But if it was a standalone thing, you could develop an entirely new engine with it and literally just slap the name Call of Duty on it. So like, I don't know, man. It's going to be really interesting. Really interesting. How does create a class look like? Um, so I don't have any footage of it in this because I can't show like actual menu footage, but it's a, it's a tabular thing now. So instead of like create class one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on and so forth, it's actually one, two, three, four, five, and like your stuff's below it. Um, so that's interesting. Um, do you think Ghost will have a sequel? Uh, I don't know. H1Z run released on P uh, PS4 today. True, true. Is a battle royale similar to Fortnite battle? Yes, but without building. Um, so it's essentially you drop in and you just you gotta try and be the the last one to survive. Um, will league play stay the same? Uh, I'm hoping that it's very similar to Black Ops. Uh, Black Ops Two. Very very hoping so. Do we have charms like weapon charms? I didn't see any. No. Uh, do you think they should add map editing abilities like uh, like a mod tools? I would love to see that again, dude. Is there a season pass? Right now there is not, and the rumor is that multiplayer is going to actually have free content dropped throughout the year, and then like a, a season pass for zombies uh, in Blackout. Are they announcing the beta soon? I'm going to guess at E3 they're going to announce it. Can you customize your character? Uh, in this build we were not able to, just because like this is a very, very limited build of the game. Uh, do you think this will be COD's comeback? I think it has potential if they do it right. Yes. Uh, especially with the Battle Royale aspect, that's just something so out there for Call of Duty that I think if it's done right... It can, it can really help out the game. House hit detection. We were on land, so it felt very good, very responsive. But land is also never a good indicator as what it's like online. Uh, PUBG or Fortnite? I'm going to say Fortnite just because PUBG is so unoptimized. And I'm, I am not a fan of how Blue Hole handled development. Because I don't know if you guys know. Literally every single asset in... Um, literally every single asset within PUBG is all like paid for license, paid for use unreal engine assets none of that is is like in-house development stuff 
<laughs> so in that sense, to me, it was just, and I'm still so hung up on the fact that PUBG rushed beyond belief a port to Xbox One. Like, when the Xbox One is running on uh, the game at less than 30 FPS, there's probably something wrong with the build of the game and you shouldn't have put it out that early, but... Did I get to play Blackout? Unfortunately, I did not. Uh, will there be sticky bombs? We didn't see any sticky grenades, but I would, I would imagine they're actually in there. Uh, the lethals that we had available to us uh, were... Let me find this real quick. The All right, so we had the special issue stuff in terms of gear. Special issues like your special uh, your specialist abilities and all that good stuff. Then we also had the trophy system, Molotov, Frag Grenade, Concussion, and Combat Axe available to us. So we did not see any Semtex or anything like that. I would imagine it's going to be coming, but I, I also don't know. Um, does it feel like Black Ops 3? It feels more like Black Ops 2. It looks like Black Ops 3, though. What's up, Oken? How you doing, man? What do you think we will see Blackout gameplay or more info? I actually don't know if we'll see Blackout until the launch of the game. Um, because... That is so much that is, has to go into the development, unless they are, like, very far along with it. I'm a little worried for the timetable. Um, do you think they should add wager match? Oh, I'd love to see wager matches. I would love it. What's up, footy? How you doing, man? Are you going to go back to World War II? Yeah, I've been, I've been, I posted a World War II video last night, and I'm still playing World War II, but just with everything releasing all around the same time frame, we've just had a lot to talk about with Black Ops 4. Just join the stream and like. Thank you, Dominic. I appreciate that, dude. Yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying the stream. If you guys are, make sure you drop a like down below. Subscribe if you guys are new. But no shock charges in this build that we had. No. Is there a campaign? Is there a campaign? Campaign, 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 campaign. Is there a campaign? No. Unfortunately not. There is uh, specialist missions, though, that will tell a narrative of that. But no actual dedicated campaign. And zombies, we did not get to see gameplay of. Um... Yeah, I don't know if it was I don't know if it was the the contract or what Samuel, but it was it was 1000% rushed. You know my name? Hey, nice, man. Why is my name Equali Espresso? Well, since we're going to I told it I think last stream and I'll say it again. Honestly, dudes, I have no idea. Like 6 years ago when I made this channel, I literally just spitballed two things that I thought were stupid and would not work ever together, but like that's why you put them together and then a year or two later I was like, I want to do YouTube. And so I made this the name way before I ever, like, even considered doing YouTube seriously. So that's why I go by more so Espresso now uh, than anything else. Because I, I, I think my name is absolutely stupid. <laughs> is there going to be supply drops? There's nothing that says yes or no right now, but I can guarantee you they will be. How am I playing Black Ops 4? This was pre-recorded. I ended up going out to the actual reveal event last week in Los Angeles. Activision and Treyarch flew me out for the sole purpose of actually capturing this footage and being a part of the festivities. So this is gameplay that was recorded at the actual event. So, uh, do you know how much the game time... Wait. Oh, in your brief playtime, what do you believe needs to change in Black Ops 4? Uh, weapon balance. Stim shot regen. Um, that needs adjusted just so it is more in line with regular health regen. Because uh, it's instantaneous. Um, um, there was one other thing that really stood out to me, and I can't think of what it is. Crap, I can't think of it right now. Um, what maps do you think will be in Blackout? Uh, honestly, I think there's going to be a nuke town. There's probably going to be like a, 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 a launch. Probably a... Uh, I'd like to see Jungle from Black Ops 1 Return. That'd be cool. Um, raid, Standoff. I'd love to see all those. I don't know, dude. There's so many to pick from, truthfully. Did I play Hardcore? No, there was no Hardcore in the build that we played. Use code Espresso for 10% off Control Freaks. Hey, my man. Yes. 100%. If you guys need Control Freaks, definitely recommend them. I actually can't play like any games on console anymore without Control Freaks, even if it's not a shooter. <laughs> When's the beta come out? It was not confirmed, but probably right around the end of June, early July, maybe middle July. Uh, do you think the specialist story be training missions or like a story mission per specialist? I think a little bit of both. They're gonna like weave storyline information in between training missions. Um, free for all, we didn't get to play free for all. Uh, who were I playing? Was I playing with? So in my immediate uh, like viewpoint, it was uh, Duke Nukem or Nuke Duke. Nuke Duke was the game, so it was Duke Nukem, uh, Ink Slasher, me, Prestigious Key. Apollo uh, from Carnage, and then like a couple of like European guys. Um, so that was like my table and matchup of that. But 
Is there a level up system in zombies? Yeah, from what I've heard, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be coming back and in full force. So I'm I'm excited to see how that one works out as well. Uh, how much is the prestige edition usually? Uh, I think prestige is like what right around eighty or one hundred, and then like I forget because like the the zombies the zombies one where the juggernaut fridge that was like one fifty or something last time, but that was like above prestige. Uh, I want a hijack remake. That'd be cool. Thoughts on recoil? Um, I didn't get enough time to like really learn any of the recoil patterns, but like it was fun, definitely from whatever I when I played. Um, Carnage merch. Ooh, soon, soon. We're gonna get a scuff. Uh, get a scuff. Uh, on scuff.com and hopefully uh, with code espresso soon. <laughs> hopefully. What's up, Grant? How you doing, man? Black Ops 4 50 v 50. <laughs> That'd be cool. Uh, Black Ops 3 Master would be fantastic. I'd love that. Chicken under the egg. Oh, that's a huge philosophical debate that you do not want to get into me with. <laughs> I will break that down way more than it ever needs to go. Uh, expectation reality. Blackout. Player count. Um, I would love to see 100 players. I think that it's possible, but it's going to need some major work on the engine itself. Um, I think Deluxe was I think Deluxe was the $80, $80 edition. I don't know. Do you think there'll be a new Nuketown? Yeah. Definitely, I think so. Uh, I want fire, dude. Fire Ranch would be awesome. Did I pre-order the game? I actually did not yet, just because I've been so busy since I got back. Black Ops Three or Black Ops Four? Um, I think Black Ops Three is a much more simple game in the terms of like there's, or maybe it's just me like not being acclimated to everything just yet. But I think Black Ops Three may have been a little bit more simple in terms of some of the systems in place. Um, so in that sense, maybe Black Ops Three. But I really do like the boots on the ground Black Ops Two feel. Will DLC maps be free? Uh, that's the rumor, but we don't know, actually. How long did I get to play this? I got to play an hour. Uh, is the Blackout mode coming with the game or as a DLC? It's supposedly coming with the uh, with the game, but we'll see about that. I I, I don't know, because that's, that's going to be a really tall task to get everything ready for launch. Um, do you think Black Ops 4 will combat the camping that plagues COD? Possibly. Possibly. How are the maps? They felt really good. They're small. They're definitely more fitted for 5v5 than 6v6. Um, but that also being said, we could probably see some sort of addition of ground war in a 7v7 capacity because that's what the, that's what our lobbies were able to hold. 14 people. Um, so unless they change that, I'm going to guess that 7v7 is that ground war. Um, we'll see. We'll black out, overtake multiplayer and player count. I don't know. That's a really good question. Uh, it'll definitely split it up. It'll definitely split up the, the player account, but I'm more of a hardcore kind of gamer. Any ideas of... So I think hardcore will definitely come, but we didn't get any information or any game time with that. Um, the only thing that I think you just got to do is take out the health regen. Um, do you think when COD Black Ops 4 comes out that World War 2 will become dead? That's a good question. I don't know. Um... I'm gonna be covering a lot of Black Ops 4 once the game like comes into beta and in the in the full launch, just because like that's the newer game and like I, my game is or my channel's always been, like, contingent on the newest title and bringing you guys the best of like what is what is up to date. Um, but World War 2 is seriously I've ha I've had so much fun in World War 2. It's it's probably one of my favorite CODs, uh, since Black Ops 2, and uh, Black Ops 3 might be the only thing that like actually beats that out. I don't know. Nuketown is definitely going to be back in the game, I think. We have a live stream on Twitch. I'm working on getting something uh, figured out with Twitch, but I, at the moment, don't know. Um, and I also might have uh, an opportunity to work with a company for a live streaming platform that isn't Twitch. Which, there's a lot more that goes into that than, than I can really discuss at the moment. But um, World War II is not dead. I don't think so. Do you know when the beta is? Probably end of June, early July. We don't have any ETA though, like officially. Uh, best YouTuber ever. Hey, thank you, man. I appreciate that, dude. No, Liquid, I'm saying since Black Ops 2. Modern Warfare 2 is before Black Ops 2. Hardcore news? No, we don't have anything on that just yet. I, again, I would imagine that it's something very similar to like just taking out health regen, but... Uh, but if they have stim packs, how can they take that out? Uh, I'd probably just ban it. I mean, I, I think that'd be the easiest way around it. Like, take out the health regen and then also ban stim packs. What's up, Jason? How you doing, man? Can you inspect your weapons? We were not able to, or at least we did not know how to do that. Um, and the one thing that kind of, um, discourages me from the fact that we might be able to do it is that you end up having, uh, holding try is actually... <laughs> holding try? 
Holding triangle is actually how you call in your streaks. Um, what's up, Shane? How you doing, brother? I'm new to the channel. What's up, Black Boss? Thank you for the sub, man. I appreciate it, dude. Uh, yeah, so I'm hoping you can inspect animation, because at the moment, I, I don't I don't think you can. Uh, will they be showing anything new at E3? Apparently, yes. World War II or Black Ops 4? I didn't have enough hands-on time with Black Ops 4 to really make an accurate depiction of, of a head versus head. Um, yeah, dude, I definitely think that World War II is a, a completely different and a completely better game after that division overhaul. Truly, I think that, like, some of the changes... Mad props to Aaron Halan and the rest of the Sledgehammer team. Like, they have done a fantastic job, I think, at trying to at least please as much of the community as possible. I know a lot of people may still be upset with how the game has gone and m might not feel like their feedback is 100% uh, and entirely, like, accounted for. But, like, truly, I think the game is so much more receptive and so much more better to what the community wanted than what it was at launch. And honestly, I think that if it was like this at launch, I think the game would have just been so much more well-received, firstly. And also, I think that, like, there'd be a lot more players still on it. Hey, happy birthday, uh, is it Mac McKelly? Hi, happy birthday, dude. Enjoy your content. Hey, thank you, Snugs. I appreciate that, dude. Yeah, holding triangle to call on streaks, definitely weird. Yeah, absolutely. Is there jetpacks? No, sir. Yeah, I'm, I'm just a COD fan at heart, too, Alfredo. I feel you 100%. Did Black Ops feel, uh, 4 feel more tactical and still traditional? So, yeah, that's the thing. is It felt more tactical, but it, at the core, felt like Black Ops 2 more than anything else. Big fan when watching your videos. Hey, I appreciate that, Tim. Thank you so much for the support, man. Are there specialist customization? Uh, we didn't have access to it, um, but I, I can almost guarantee you that it's going to happen. Bullet, I'm going to come back to it. Why? Give me a reason. I, I don't have any like I don't have any issue with your opinion. And I totally think it's a valid opinion, but I just want to know why. Because um, that's one thing that I feel like I, I see all these comments on my videos and all, all that kind of stuff, and I'm like, Black Ops Four is trash. But like, why? That's like that's the biggest thing. If you can back it up and it's not just the uh, uh, this is trash. Like, I think that it more validates more validates your view. Uh, what do you think about Black Ops Four? Do I like it? Yeah, I had fun with it. Uh, again, I think I I didn't get enough hands-on time to say if I like it. Uh, dislike it, love it, hate it, like that kind of thing. But I had fun with it, so that was that was definitely nice. Can you cancel grenades? Um, I didn't play around with any lethals this game. Um, in my playtime, I'm gonna assume that like if there's a semtex, I'm gonna assume yes. But a frag grenade, you immediately start cooking. So I'm gonna say no with a frag. Can you explain the menu? Um, I actually don't know. Um, I talked a bit a lot about it within the uh, one video I had up. And, you want to check that out but in terms of just like offhand i don't know if i can that's it's interesting because it's like a top down type of thing now instead of like it's like a tabular setup instead of if you're talking create a class it's tabular instead of like create a class one two three four five six seven and so on it's now one two three four five and like everything's below it so that's interesting and in, in how that'll work but Hope you get to 150k. Hey, thank you, man. I appreciate that, man. Hopefully, do we get to 150k subs? That'd be sweet. I think we're actually really, really close here to, uh... Yo, yeah, we're actually really close to 130,000. We're 44 away, so... 43 now, actually. I don't mean to... I don't mean to plug super hard, but if you guys, um, are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding Call of Duty Black Ops 4, World War II, all that good stuff. And again, we are very, very close to, um... We are very, very close to 130,000 subscribers, so... If you guys uh, could be so kind, if you guys aren't new to the channel and you're enjoying what you're seeing, feel free to drop a like down below. How many maps did I play? We played three. Um, uh, love what I've seen. I think so. I, I enjoy it too. Are you playing with bots? No, this was actually real gameplay against real other players out of the reveal event. So right now, like, I don't even have the hands on a controller. This is completely pre-recorded uh, and something we got last week. But uh, is the manual healing easy to get used to? Yeah, I think so. I, I got used to it. Right off the bat, probably took me about one game. Um, am I excited for Blood of the Dead? Oh my god, yes. I, <laughs> I... I was one of those people just losing their mind at the reveal of it. It was so loud in the venue that, like, the footage I got from, like, my, my actual, like, vlog camera, I don't think that we... There is enough to actually, like, say, like... To show you guys and have good audio quality, but, like, it... I got so loud during that, dude. Woo! Before I go to work, when is E3? So I know June 12th to 15th, I believe. Do you know if Black Ops 4 has C4? Um, let me see. I don't think that I saw it, no. It wasn't in the build that we had, but it very well may actually come up. 
Do you think they should add wager matches? Absolutely. Definitely, like 100%. I would love to see that. Where do you think most of the players will be playing? Which system? Um, I don't know. I think it's an even split relatively across the board. Um, I know that Call of Duty has the, the ex not uh, exclusivity, the partnership, though, with uh, PlayStation. So, like, I, I don't know what that'll mean for, like, if that indicates player count. I don't know. Um, but we'll see. What games do I like? I lot of, like a lot of games. Still no mashed potatoes. Dude, I love mashed potatoes. 100%. Um, I'm hoping Blackout is, is standalone, but apparently from what I've heard, it is coming with Black Ops 4. And the reason that I want it to come by itself as a standalone is not only because it can, it can become free to play and you can play around with the cosmetics and everything like that with a paid system like that, like a Fortnite would, because let's be totally real with you, dude. Fortnite just invested a hundred million dollars in a competitive play because of how much they've made off of cosmetics that are right there and give you the choice to buy it and not lock it behind any gambling. So, you do that with, like, a blackout mode, you're gonna make a ton of money still. But, the thing that I'm worried about also is that if it's tied with Black Ops 4, it's more than likely gonna have to be just dependent on the Black Ops engine. Like, the Black Ops 4 engine for the game. Which, unless they do a massive overhaul and they put everything on one, dude, there's gonna be so many issues and so many things with player count that's just gonna go wrong. Because, we were, if you remember, again, World War II had issues just at the launch with, with the amount of, uh the amount of players in headquarters so like if you try and put that in with a map that is literally 1500 size or times more the size of nuketown and then with a hundred plus players like what the game's gonna break <laughs> so are the streaks good i thought they were pretty or i thought they were pretty solid yeah uh what are the chances of world war remastered i i don't think that we'll see that at the moment i mean it's still possible but I, i'm not expecting it uh, last question, what system are you going to be playing on PlayStation 4? Do I like Battlefield? Um, I, again, I've been so, like, removed from the Battlefield community and the, the franchise that I, I just haven't really paid attention to it the last couple of years. Do you think one specialist will be overpowered? No, actually, a lot of the specialists seems like they're more dumbed down compared to, like, what we had in Black Ops 3, so, like, they're less powerful in that sense. What year do you think it's set in? Uh, 2040s, maybe. What are the D-pad controls? We actually don't know. We didn't have anything tethered to the D-pad. Uh, which kind of makes me wonder if it's going to do something where they're going to take from Destiny the emote system. So, like, if you get an insane kill, you can emote on a player. I don't know if that's going to happen, because there's a reason they had to have switched out calling in streaks from the D-pad to putting it to triangle. I don't know. But do you think Headquarters will win the game? I hope so. I really like that feature. Blizzard will help Activision. Don't worry. Yeah, I, I think so, but, like, it, it, it it's past the server issue it comes down to like the actual core gameplay because that's the thing with with like the game engine it's not so much dependent on the server itself it's actually the game and what it can handle um so i guess i guess we'll see did they did they did i get the chance to play blackout no unfortunately i did not i'm really looking forward to it though i'm i'm super excited thanks buddy hey thank you five thank you for coming on sports stream greatly appreciate it holy crap dudes holy crap 34 subs away from 130,000. That's insane to me. Oh, and my whole, you know, I tabbed out again. Because why not? Woo, it is hot in my room, dudes. It is hot in my room. Woo wee. Well, stop tabbing me out. Ah. Fuck award, what do I think? Um, again, I don't think it's anything too insane, like insanely different. I mean, it's a cool little curveball, I guess. It's not something that I would have been like, all right, that needs to be a change that happens. But, like, you still see people if they end up shooting their gun. You still see them on the minimap. You still see them if they have a UAV. The only difference is that, like, the rest of the map is kind of dimmed off and it shows where you and your teammates are looking. So, uh, I don't know. Just want to say keep up the good work. I appreciate that, man. Thank you, Justin. Thank you for the kind words, dude. Do the stem shot as a crutch equipment? Absolutely. Theater mode or not? We didn't have any access to theater mode. I'm going to say yes that it is there, but I don't know. I really don't. Uh, let me see if my man Dex is streaming real quick before I... move forward because I, I think he was looking to do a q a stream too and i'd love to rate him so i want to make sure that he's we're not ending up just yet don't don't worry but i want to make sure that we end up having give me one second here dudes give me one second i just saw it come on no okay that's cool that's cool too you know 
Uh, wish the Executioner returned. Uh, that'd be sweet. Yeah, definitely. Should I pre-order it? Uh, up to you, man. I, I think that, honestly, I'm not a huge fan of pre-order culture. Um, I mean, I don't mind if people do, and I sometimes do it as well, but, like, if you're, if you're on the fence with it, I wouldn't, like, I'd, I'd maybe pre-order, play the beta, and then make your full decision on it then. Um, but, how do you activate the kill streaks? Yeah, triangle. Do you think Red Dead will be a threat? Yeah, I think that's actually the main reason why they moved it. I think that's the main reason why they moved. Sub, do you seem really cool? Hey, thank you, man. I appreciate that, dude. Mission clock is running down. Uh, how many maps were there in the build that we played? We played three. Uh, I'm hoping for at least 13 to 15 on launch. Did I meet Vondi? Yeah, it's actually... I've met him a couple of times, actually. But I did meet him up meet up with him again. He, dude, he's... The one thing that I will say about Vonderhaar, man, is that, like, he seems like a really cool dude, really chill, right? Like, just awesome to talk to. Dude, he's so much more awesome in person. Like, dude is straight up one of the coolest dudes I think I've ever met. <laughs> Real quick, and Cool. Alright, so, beta already dropped. No, unfortunately, this is not the beta. This is pre-alpha gameplay. So, I was actually out at the reveal event in Los Angeles last week. And then, this is where I got that gameplay. So, this is a very, very early build of the game. That There's going to be a lot of things that are subject to change. But, it is something where we got to play it, no less. Um, could this be the best COD ever? I think that it has the potential to give give fans a lot of uh, a lot of things to keep playing. I, I think that the, the community is so just, like fractured in a sense we're, we're never gonna have a call of duty is the best one again we have way too many people that want like new stuff we have way too many people that want remasters we have way too many people that like want new stuff but a carbon copy of like modern warfare 2 or modern warfare 3 that like i don't think we're ever gonna please enough of the the majority to make it like the best cod ever so in that sense that's the the downside to a game being around for so long and for it reaching such pinnacle and crucial points is that like the old crowd feels neglected the new crowd feels like this is awesome the people that are like been around for a little bit are like what is this why are you switching so there there's a lot of just different tension i guess in the community uh, among all the different groups of of those who have played so i don't know if we'll ever get to a point where there's a call of duty where it's like the best call of duty again i think still the best games are still going to live on in people's minds as modern warfare 2 modern warfare 3 black ops 2 black ops World at War, maybe COD 4, like those games. Black Ops 2 is probably the last game that I think is of that golden era that people would consider. And so from there, I don't think that like, in terms of fan reception, we'll be able to top anything like that, which is unfortunate, but like, we kind of do it to ourselves. We go in with expectations way too high, we go in with, with like, very limited viewpoints of what we want and we reject anything else, so, I don't know, man. What's up, Hein- uh, Heinrich, how you doing, man? Ground War, uh, so we didn't have access to Ground War, but there is a 7v7 support, like, for in, in the matches that we were in, like, the lobbies. So, I would assume that 7v7 is the Ground War, and that will be it, but I don't know. Dedicated servers, uh, I'm gonna say dedicated servers, because, like, I don't know if you guys know this, but, like, Call of Duty's actually been on dedicated servers for a few years now. If you guys want to actually truly experience, like, peer-to-peer -peer connections, go back to Modern Warfare 2, or if you guys were on World War 2 whenever the, all those server issues happened, dude, like... It is an ungodly difference. Like, people will experience lag, yes, that's going to happen no matter what. But, like, peer-to-peer -peer is literally, like, the biggest BS ever. So, like, you'll definitely know when you're on peer... Like, people will just complain about connections and say it's 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 peer-to-peer -peer hosts and all that kind of stuff and you migrate. But, like, 99% of the time, you're going to come into a dedicated server in, in Call of Duty in recent years. But... The God community is literally the Sonic community. I don't know if I get the reference. Uh, how many guns were in there? The, were there in the beta? There are 14. So I'm gonna guess at least double that in the full game. Do um, you think the beta should be free? I would hope so because it increases the player count and then gets gets people to have more ability for it. But it definitely is something that does uh, entice pre-order numbers. So I don't know. Do it all miss wall running? Um, I mean, I was impartial to it. I thought it was cool for Black Ops 3, but like I didn't miss it all that much now that it's gone. Um. Thoughts on the body armor? It's really all that. It's not not that great. Just sub, but it didn't. Just sub, but it didn't show. Hey, I'm sorry, man. I sometimes it's like delayed, and sometimes it just doesn't work. Um, I'm guessing the beta is gonna come out. I'm gonna say like end of June, early July, or mid July. Uh, that just gives so much time to work with. But I depends on your region, maybe Hassan, because like I know for a fact that I connect to dedicated servers. Like, I've actually seen the, the servers that I've connected to in terms of... Because you can use all kinds of networking tools to find out 
and there are like straight up dedicated servers that Activision either owns or goes out through in a third party system. Uh, and so therefore, like I know that a lot of the states, a lot of Europe, definitely on dedicated servers, but depending on where your region is, I mean, I think that there are places in, um, in like South Africa and, and like the Philippines and like, I think maybe a little bit of the Middle East as well. But I mean, if you use a net, if you use networking tools at all, you can end up, you can end up like checking where you end up connecting to, uh, which is very cool and very helpful, but Is it true there's no season pass and free DLC? That's the rumor. We haven't had it confirmed to us, but it would not surprise me. Do you think they might change being able to use one specialist per team uh, for at least non-competitive play? I kind of hope so. Because, um, like, that's a big detriment to how the gameplay itself feels. Nuketown 4.0, definitely going to happen, I think. Do you think weapon variants will come in Black Ops 4? I don't think so. Thinking about it, I don't think so. I don't know. Uh, what do you think about only being able to use one specialist? Makes it a lot more competitive, but I also am not a big fan of it. It's time to kill longer? Yeah, because health is, uh, is increased by 50%. So you now have a health of 150 instead of 100. So, yeah, that's something that, uh, it's gonna take some getting used to, but... Should I get a 1 millisecond response time monitor or a scuff controller? What do you think would help more? Um... Well, if you have just a standard, uh, if you just have a standard monitor, I believe standard monitors are two millisecond. So it, it unless you're like a super hardcore gamer, I think you'd get a lot more, um, cause you'd get a lot more use and, uh, at least like discernible use out of, uh, out of the scuff. Um, cause I mean one, one to two millisecond response time, if you're like a pro gamer and like you're really into that kind of stuff, I think you'll notice, but I also think that if you're a little bit less, like, a little more casual, you'll definitely notice more of a, uh, a difference in your play via scuff rather than a, than a monitor. Is there grenades? Yeah. Yeah, they're just tied in with the, um... They're just tied in with the, uh, what's it called? What's it called? What's it called? Um, the special issue stuff, so you're, like, specialist abilities. Uh, is there a digital deluxe for Black Ops 4? Uh, right now, none of the special editions have really been ever marketed out just yet. I think they're going to release those at E- or uh, reveal those at E3. Uh, thoughts on Blackout? Dude, I'm super excited. I love Black, uh, Battle Royale modes. I'm super ho- uh, <laughs> super hoped. I'm super stoked for that, man. Uh, do you think they'll buff the shotguns? I hope not, if I'm honest. How do score, fix st score streaks feel? I can't talk, man. I don't know what it is today. Uh, they felt good. Um... I think the higher streaks are definitely a lot more worth it than recent streaks uh, that are higher tier. Favorite assault rifle is definitely the Rampart 17. It very much so is like the Scar Age. Um, do you think there'll be any actual real guns in Black Ops 4 besides just similar looking guns? Um, I don't know because they, they definitely like renamed weapons and then still have very similar models. But I don't know. It almost kind of feels like from what we've seen so far with almost no real like recollection and, and ties to like previous weapons They're kind of trying to get rid of that that not stigma, but like reusing factor. So I don't know man Yeah, 100 150 health is still 100% yes, but I'm just saying like they they increased it from where it was before uh, Favorite assault rifle though definitely rampart 17 um, Did I try the pistol uh, it was relatively weak Love videos. Hey, thank you, Aviv. Appreciate it, dude. Glad you enjoy them. Is there going to be a war game mode? I kind of hope so. I really liked war uh, in World War II, but I don't know if that's going to be on their plans and uh, on their, their roadmap for game modes. When's the beta coming out? Probably end of June, mid-July-ish, that range. Um, do you think or know if there will be a gun? Yeah, so the Scar H, Scar L is very similar to the Rampart 17. Um, that's one that, honestly, I love. I love that gun so much. You're awesome. Hey, thank you, uh, Jay. I appreciate that, dude. Cheers from Portugal. Cheers to you, my man. Um, so for me, Battle Royale and Black Ops is a fr is frustrating. Yeah, I, I definitely understand where it might not be everybody's cup of tea. Um, what was your favorite ability or specialist? I actually didn't get to play around with all of them. I think that my favorite, though, out of what I did was Firebreak. Um, just because, like, I, I love the flamethrower. The only downside, though, is that it's not as powerful anymore because they have the increased health now with this version of the game, so. What's up, Sam? How you doing, man? Was there a nuke? Um, not in this build, no. Does bar barbed wire actually help? Yeah, so it slows you down. It's gonna be it's gonna be best used if, like, it's on an objective or getting to an objective. Or if it's, like, right around a corner and somebody just, like, runs into it. 
but it slows people down and does damage to them. Do you think Blackout skins are going to be bought? Um, I hope that they kind of abandon the, the supply drop RNG system and they allow you to just buy things you want, but I have no idea if that's going to happen. Do you feel like this game could save the dying community? Um, I don't know if... Call of Duty's been dying, has been around for ages. I don't know if the community is, is, is like, dying itself because the game still sells incredible amounts. Sure, it wasn't the huge, like, massive hit it was back in the day, but, like, I think the the community that people see that is dying are the ones that have been there from the beginning they're just like slightly moving away they're losing interest whatever it may be but like player numbers are still still up in this in the sense of like they're still definitely strong they're still definitely thriving they might not again be like modern warfare three levels but like i i think that like the community is dying in the sense that it's phasing out a different community for another one um but i don't know if it'll save it in a sense to answer your question I think that there's so much stuff that'll definitely keep people involved. I think with multiplayer, especially if they give free content out, like the rumor has it, I definitely think Blackout can bring a new perspective to Call of Duty, and I definitely think Zombies has a, a great opportunity to do some great stuff with the storyline this year. So, um, I think there's a lot of stuff that is variable, and it definitely has the potential, but it really all just comes down to execution and if they can do it well. Uh, do you think they'll surprise with the campaign? No, I don't think so. Uh, is BR mode going to be in the beta? No, it's going to be only at the full launch. Um, the <laughs> community could save itself and stop being so toxic. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> Do you think the game uh, modes such as Sticks and Stones and Gun Game will return? I hope so. Those are a lot of fun, actually. Um, Do you think that you will be able to earn skins in Blackout instead of buying? I'd like to see that as well. Definitely would like to see that. I'd love to see like a battle pass type of thing, where you can organically rank up and get things like as a result. So it's like a season pass that you go at in your own pace. I think that'd be awesome. What crazy idea do you think COD game would have that you would want? Um, honestly, they already did the one thing that I really wanted, that being a battle royale. How heavy do you think microtrans microtransactions will be in black uh, Blackout? I think inevitably they'll be pretty high, but I just hope they do them right. Again, I think the, the model that you, you really just need to focus on is... is how Fortnite does it because they don't do stupid loot boxes. They don't do loot crates that are RNG and complete luck. They put what is out there right in front of you and then you're like, oh, that's pretty sick. I'm going to buy that. Even if it's at a higher cost. Like, truly, it's so stupid, but it works so well. The skin in Fortnite can be 20 bucks, but because you don't have to gamble for it, like, it's totally worth it in some people's cases. Like, it's so dumb that it's that expensive, but they sell so well. So, like, if you... I guarantee you, if you want to say a DLC weapon in, in Call of Duty, theoretically, because I would hate for this to happen, because then it would actually kind of be uh, pay to win. Cosmetics are different because they don't do anything. But like, instead of putting an, a, a, a DLC weapon in supply drops, put it right there in the market. Put a twenty dollar price tag on it, and do you understand how many sales you'll make? Like, because you're going to make, you're you're not gonna end up getting that weapon. Chances are on twenty dollars of supply drops. But if you put it in there, guaranteed for being able to get it for 20 bucks. Sure, like short term you might lose some money, but you are going to make so many more sales if you just put things up front. If you just have a marketplace in that aspect. And don't get me wrong, I think that like microtransactions in a sense of like just overall there is are, I don't know if plague's the right word for it, but like I hate that like a lot of games are releasing now with incomplete builds or like I understand if you want to do it to like keep the game fresh as it like bring new stuff out of it, but like if there's something that totally should be, like, there from the beginning, I absolutely hate that. I hate it. that It's it's releasing without that. But, like, cosmetic stuff, 100% cool with because it's optional. It doesn't change the gameplay itself. DLC weapons, I don't think that we'll ever go back to a normal release schedule. It kind of sucks. But, like, if you put it up front, I'll have less less of an issue with it. But is there quickscoping? Yes. Uh, do you think there will be... Do you know much about the specialist missions? I do not, unfortunately. We didn't get to play any of those. I'm really looking forward to it, though, because I love story with the, the backstory of everything. Definitely be really cool. Yeah, do it like Black Ops 2? Absolutely, man. Like, do do that kind of stuff where they have the ability to buy the Peacekeeper right up front. I think that'd be perfectly fine. Uh, can you kill the grappling hook? I actually didn't see it, so I don't know off the top of my head. Uh, do you think Black Ops 4 will be crossplay? No, I don't think so. Didn't know your name was Jordan. Hey, what's up? We're Jordan friends. <laughs> MW4 is coming? Yes, sir. Pretty hyped about that, actually. So, we're gonna go for, like, five more minutes. Does that sound good, dudes? I think I'm gonna go to, uh... I'm gonna, after that, I think I'm gonna send you to... I think Dex is... is live-streaming. I think.
Is he? Let me make sure. No? I literally went to his channel and it was like, he's live! But then he's not. Stop tabbing me out! Oh my gosh. Let's see if we can do this. No, not gonna show. Okay, that's, I guess that's. I guess that's it. Let me let me DM him real quick. All right, cool. So we're gonna go for a little bit. I'm gonna see if Dex is streaming just so we can we can send you guys to him if uh, if he is, just because I think that'd be fantastic. But uh, let me get back to the tab with the questions. Uh, I think DLC will be free. I really hope so. Any aim assist on snipers? From what I've heard, no. I didn't play around with snipers though. Uh, do you have to buy anything else except the game? No. Um, I remember buying $100 worth of supply drops in Black Ops 3. Yeah, dude, that was the thing. Is like, I, I, I hated the fact of actually paying for money in that. Like, since, since Black Ops 3, I think the only time that I bought COD points in, the, like, the entirety of, of Call of Duty was for the big box bundle because it was, like, what, 100 supply drops? And, like, it was, it was a ton of money up front, but, like, if you ended up doing the equation out for what it would normally cost you, it was actually kind of a steal. So I think I did that once or twice and that was it. But since then I have not paid a dime in COD points because I refuse to. I think it's the stupidest thing. I think it's so dumb. But Vapor reminds me of the HVK. Yeah, de definitely. Definitely. Uh, does the game feel like Black Ops 3 with no boost jump? Uh, it looks like it, but it feels like Black Ops 2 more than anything else, I think. Rampart is very good. Absolutely. Uh, Sid, I think it comes out around the end of June, early July. But that's just my guess. We haven't seen it actually uh, announced just yet. What's the best gun, in my opinion? Rampart 17. It's a rifle, it very much so like the SCAR. I might actually just text Dex. Let me see. Love your channel. Hey, thank you, gamer. I appreciate that, man. Am I excited for zombies? Dude, I'm so excited. I don't know if you guys know this. Because a lot of you guys may be newer from the Call of Duty World War II scene. Because we've, we've gained about like 50,000 subs since October. Which is insane. And I truly cannot thank you guys enough for the support. Um, sorry, I was... Dex finally got back to me. Um, yeah, so that was the thing. is like... A lot of you guys are, are from the World War II scene, but, like, I had a, another massive boom and growth from, uh, from Zombies Chronicles last year. Dude, I love zombies so much, it's unreal. So, uh, I'm really hoping you guys are gonna be okay with me posting zombie stuff, too, because, like, I, I love Treyarch zombies more than anything. Like, it's, it's, ah, it's so good. So, I'm super hyped for that, man. Minimap looks like a negative. Yeah, it's not something that, like, I'm necessarily too fond of, but I also don't mind it, if that makes sense. Um, will the beta end up being free? I think they're gonna do a free weekend, yeah. But right now, it's for pre-orders. Um, thanks and great cha great channel. Thank you, man. I appreciate that, dude. Do you think there'll be an AK-style weapon? Probably. Um, what's up, Finn? Shout out to you, man. Do you think they should remove quick draw from snipers? Uh, some of the sniping that I saw was really fast. So I don't want to anger any snipers or anything like that, but, like, it was... It was questionable. <laughs> it was questionable, but... Uh, you inspire- hey, that's humbling to hear, man. Truly, truly, uh, truly humbled to hear that, dude. Um, yeah, Vaughn did confirm BR comes at launch. The only thing is I'm kind of worried about how far along in development they are, because they have a lot of work to make it something that's, like, actually going to be competitive on a Call of Duty engine. Uh, is this game better than Call of Duty World War II? Um, I think it's kind of apples and oranges. I don't know if I can directly compare it. And again, I only played about an hour, so I can't really give you an accurate representation of yes or no. Uh, do you think there should be a best player final kill cam setting in the game? I actually like play of the game. I might be in the minority here, but I actually really like that. Um, so it is back for this game, so I'm, I'm okay with that, but... Assault Rifles felt pretty good, Jay. Um, any ideas of any returning weapons from Order Cods? Yeah, so the weapons that we have... Uh, in Black Ops 4 are the ICR, the Rampart 17, uh, the Vapor XKG, the MX9, the Cordite, the SOG 9mm, the Augur DMR, the Swordfish, the Titan, the Paladin HB50, um, the, uh, wait, did I, 
I think I was. I think I, when I referenced the Paladin earlier, it wasn't what I was saying right. Uh, the Koshka, the Strife, the Mog 12, and the Helion Salvo. So, um, the ICR is the ICR. The Rampart 17 is like the Scar. The, uh, the Vapor is like the H HVK almost. The MX-9 is like a cross between the um, CUDA as well as the Vector. Um, the Cordite is like the PDW from Black Ops 2. The SOG is like the MSMC or MP7. Um, the Swordfish is kind of like a weaker uh, M8. The Titan is like the LSAT. The Paladin is like the Barrett 50 cal. The Koshka is kind of like the Ballista. Uh, and the Mog 12 is like the KRM. So those are the weapons that are very similar to what we have um, on offer. How's sprint out? Hey, Reese coming in with a two-pound super chat. Appreciate it, brother. Thank you so much. How's the sprint out time? Is it instant like Black Ops 2? Uh, it did not feel instant from whatever I from what I did, but it was something that did feel at least natural. Um, so it was something that it, it's slower, but it's still not not anything that's like too insanely broken. Um, how long do you think Black Ops 4 will be played compared to call other Call of Duty's? I think that honestly, if they do everything they're saying, it's going to be played for a long, long time. Like, I think it has the potential to be the next Black Ops 3 where there's still content going into this year even, the third year. Um, well, two and, a, two and a half, maybe? Uh, but yeah. What about Clan Wars? They didn't say anything about that, so I don't know. Uh, does this game contain weapons? Nope. Sorry. Sorry to disappoint. <laughs> I love the new health system. It You get used to it very quickly, truthfully. Do you think 150 health will weaken high skill, high reward guns? Um, not really. I don't think so. Do they have kill and death in the scoreboard? Yeah, so it's actually, you can't see everybody else's kill and, kills and death, but you can see yours. If you bring up the scoreboard, in the bottom left, you'll have EKIA and then your deaths as well. But what tracks on the scoreboard is like time in the objective, points, uh, or like damage dealt, and then something else. I can't remember off the top of my head. But that might only be for the modes that we ended up playing. Because there are modes like TDM which are kill dependent, so I don't know. How's the slide the same? Yeah, pretty much. It's a little bit slower and you don't go as far simply because like it's 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 not with thrusters. But uh, are the graphics better than Call of Duty World War II? Uh, I don't really know how to accurately gauge graphics. And the one thing you got to remember also is this is is pre-alpha gameplay, so. Not everything is entirely solidified down to what it will be whenever it actually releases. What's up, Mad Zombie? How you doing, man? Do you have the specialist you pick replace your gamertag name with this? Uh, no, but that'd be cool, actually. This is recorded, yeah. So I'm not playing right now. Hey, my hands are off. This was recorded last week at the actual reveal event. Uh, best overall weapon. I thought it was the, um, I thought it was the Rampart 17, which is what you're watching now. Very mobile. Felt like the Scar Rage. Powerful. Great weapon. So the beta, we don't have an ETA for just at the moment, but... I'm going to assume that it's going to be the end of June, early July. That's my guess. Uh, what about Dark Matter? Will it come back? We don't know again with that. Camos are like one of the last things we have uh, actually given to us. So they're they're withheld from all the early gameplay releases. So pre-alpha like this, beta, withheld. Just because at that point, you're really focusing on the game itself, not the extra cosmetic stuff. Um, I actually didn't play zombies, so I don't know about sliding in zombies. How sniping? I didn't play, but I heard it's something where you don't have aim assist, but if you can get past it, it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, any COD that could prepare the feel of this game? Black Ops 2, probably. Black Ops 2, and then maybe play a little bit of Rainbow Six Siege. Is the M8 back? Uh, there's a weapon that is a burst. It's called the Swordfish, but I don't think it's the direct comparable uh, like to the M8. So, I don't know if that's the best representation. Do I play the PC version? I did not play it. Um, I might, though, because apparently there's going to be a lot of support for PC this year, and I'm really excited for that. Am I PS4? Right now, I'm on my PC. Like, I'm just playing gameplay. Like, right now, I'm just... Where's my mouse? I, this is this is pre-recorded, but... Um, I am normally on PS4, though, yes. Yeah, I, I primarily play on PS4, but I, I might give PC a try on this game as well. Uh, what do I rate this game? I think that's just, like, a 7.5 solid right off the bat, just because, like... I only played about an hour, and so I don't want to write the game off or praise it where there could be a lot more room, and I just didn't... Didn't necessarily see it. You think contracts and challenges will come back? Yeah, absolutely. Um, when you earn score streaks, you press the triangle button. Yeah. Switch weapons is still triangle, but you just tap it. So it's like your normal just tap. Uh, it's it's almost like it's replacing the inspect animation to call in your streaks. Because um, you do have to hold it for about three seconds. Like, eh, maybe two. Maybe two seconds or so. Um, but it's definitely it's like definitely that discernible thing where you would, to call in your streak... You'd recognize if you're just swapping weapons or if you're inspecting your weapon. 
it, it you can definitely tell it's gonna take a little bit longer, but you have to hold it in for it. Is Blackout first person only? Uh, we heard that it's uh, first person only. I'd like to see third person too, but I don't know. You think there'll be a kill cam at S and D like World War? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Will health regeneration system be in zombies? Good question, but I I don't know. Is it 100% boots on the ground? Yes. Is this going to be the Fortnite killer? Um, no, I think that they're kind of apples and oranges. I don't think that you'll end up seeing, um, I don't think you'll be able to directly compare them. Like, entirely for what they're worth. Of course, you can personally compare them, but like, to me, they're, they're a little too different to, uh, to say, yes, it's going to happen. No, it's not going to happen, like, definitively. What do you think about Modern Warfare 4? I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, will this work for Xbox 360? Unfortunately not. Map sizes seem really small. Do they? Yeah, dude, they did it to compensate for 5v5. Uh, but it's it's still very competitive. If anything, it might even be faster feeling than, than 6v6, just because of the map size. Since the campaign is not in the game, do you know how the game will choose to go in depth with the multiplayer? Yeah, I think that it's going to be something very much so similar to individual specialist missions, and they're going to tell the backstory of all that. So I'm really excited about that, and I actually have a video detailing that a little further later tonight. So, super excited to share that one with you, but... Um, what's up with the Standard Edition 4 pre-order? Uh, I think Standard Edition is only just like the game. I, there, There's one that was like leaked, it was an EB Games version, where it is a um, miniature figurine, a steelbook case, some digital content, COD points, and the game, but no other retails, no other retailers have actually like given any of their information yet. Uh, I don't know about DLC though. I don't know if there's exclusivity or not. Um, is multiplayer better than World War II? I think, again, it's it's just... This very much so feels like Black Ops 2 to me, so... Potentially. Um, I did I did talk with some developers, Shawnee. I did talk with some developers. Um... Yeah, again, Ace, that, that's the rumors there's not going to be a season pass, so I'm definitely, like, I, I'm excited to see how they approach DLC content if there isn't one. Did I use the ICR? Um, I think very briefly, but it felt good. It felt good. I, I really gravitated towards this, the Rampart 17. Uh, does the gameplay feel like Black Ops 2, like when you shoot the guy? Yeah, it, again, it feels very much like Black Ops 2 looks like Black Ops 3. Um... I don't think there will be a campaign in DLC form. No. I think we can write off the idea of campaign. Because I, I feel like the longer we try and hold out hope for a campaign, it's just going to crush us even more. Can I knack? I have no idea. I have no idea if you can. I, Truthfully, dude, I am not in tune with the trick shotting community all that much. Like, some of that terminology even. I'm just like, mm, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Battle Royale we didn't get any hands-on uh, experience with. Um, is there a cooldown for the medical syringe? Yes. Uh, stim shot is actually almost instantaneous, though. So, dudes, I think we're going to play the rest of this gameplay out. That's another eight minutes, and then we'll call that a wrap. So if you guys have any final questions, feel free to ask them right now. How many guns were there? There are 14 in the build. I'm expecting at least double upon the full launch, though. Um, is health, rege health regeneration quite annoying? Um, I mean, kind of, but it becomes second nature very fast. Like, I got used to it immediately. Um, did I like the game? Yeah, I had fun with it. I, I can't... I don't think that I've played enough to give you like an accurate representation of like, hey, I love this part of the game, I hated this part of the game, but I did enjoy what I played. That's the thing, and I, I did have fun with it. Is there a cooldown for grenades? Uh, I actually didn't use any grenades, so I don't know if you still have one or if there's a regen on the grenades. Not sure. Can you play Battle Royale on it yet? No, unfortunately not. Hey, dudes. We are 13 likes away from 400, so if you guys do uh, want to help me out and you guys are enjoying the stream, feel free to drop a like, and of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe, because we are 8 subscribers away from 130,000 subscribers. That's awesome. That's insane. Thank you guys all so much for the support as of recently. I'm glad you guys are enjoying Black Ops 4. Glad you guys are enjoying the Black Ops, uh, or World War 2 content as well. Thank you guys all so much. Um... Uh, Black Boss, the name is actually, like, E. coli Espresso, but, like, I only go by Espresso, because, again, for anybody that missed it earlier in the stream, like, I came up with a name, like, right, like, when I had no idea I wanted to do YouTube seriously, and it's so stupid. It is such a dumb name, but for whatever reason, man, it, it just stuck, and then here we are today. That's why I kind of go by Espresso more than anything else now, but, um, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's where we're at with that. Um, quite interesting, no less. But, uh, 
<laughs> I don't even know what to say, man. But, uh, is there a combat knife? We didn't see one in the alpha build that we had, but I would imagine there is one, yes. What button thing is the new health regeneration? L1. Uh, if you snipe someone across the map, you will an instant hit. Uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's all hit scan. Does flinch exist? There might have been a little bit, but I really wasn't paying all that much attention to it. Drop a like. Thank you, Social Lee. I appreciate it, man. When do we get our hands on the beta? Probably around end of June, early July, maybe mid-July. Uh, is this a closed beta? No, this is pre-alpha gameplay I recorded last week, so my hands are off the controller itself. Um, is there a ghost perk? Yes. Does FMJ exist? Yes. There's actually two tiers to FMJ. I don't remember off the top of my head what it does, uh, the second tier, but yes, there's two tiers of it. Uh, so on. Hey, appreciate that, man. Social, greatly appreciate it. Will they have in-game currency? Probably, yeah. It, it totally is, Johnny. You're right. You are right. Can you run on the walls? No. Do I like the Nintendo Switch? I actually don't have one, and I don't play around with it, so I, I, I truly don't know. Yo, we're one step away from 130,000. Ah, ah. <laughs> Holy crap. Woo. Um. I think that not having a campaign takes away from the overall experience. Potentially. Why does this keep kicking me out? Ugh! So irritating. Are the graphics better than Call of Duty Black Ops 3? Uh, they're very similar. They're very similar. Because it's the same engine. It's it's all everything that is like... It, it, it aesthetically looks almost identical. Stop kicking me. Oh my gosh. I'm going to like smack my computer. Oh my gosh. Button layouts, uh, there's your standard, there's like your, your tactical, your, your lefty, your, I mean, if you want to take a go and, and play Legacy South Pawn stuff, same stuff like that too. Oh my gosh, stop kicking me out! Oh, you might, I would say you might see a slight pause there, because I just screenshotted, we hit 130,000 subscribers live on stream, thank you dudes all so much for coming up, supporting the stream, thank you, appreciate that dudes. Greatly do. Left a like. Hey, thank you, man. I appreciate it. I say, yeah, if you guys are enjoying the stream, make sure you drop a like down below. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe as well. We just hit 130,000 subscribers. That is insane. So, truly, thank you, dudes. Greatly appreciate that. Um, do you know if they end Black Ops after this and start up a new IP? Possibly. I don't know, though. I, I, there's just so much power behind the Black Ops name, it will just instantly sell. Uh, other YouTubers say this time to kill is slow. Your thoughts? It's definitely slower compared to recently, but that's that's literally due in part because there's more health. Thank you, Adam. I appreciate that, man. Do you think the individual specialist missions will give us info on the Black Ops storyline due to the time period? Uh, I think so, and I'm really hoping so. I actually have a video detailing that going live in a little bit. Uh, possibly even at 5, in, so in an hour. Uh, is the game going to be in 4K on Xbox One X and PS4 Pro? I hope so. Do I use a scuff? I do not. Um, hopefully soon, though. Might have something cool to announce soon. Um, 130k. Hey, thank you, dudes. All so much for 130k. Greatly appreciate it. Greatly appreciate it. Is it easier or harder to kill in Black Ops 4? Yeah, relatively the same. Do the maps have swimming parts? Uh, more swimming parts? Um, the maps we played, there was one. That was it. Uh, do I like it? Yes, I had a lot of fun. I just sub. Thank you, man. Appreciate that, dude. Digital Deluxe has not been announced just yet, but it is something that, uh, we'll probably get some information on all that come E3. Uh, but yeah, I, the biggest thing is that I did like it. Can I trick shot more than like me personally? Probably not. But yeah, you can you can probably trick shot in the game. I don't think anybody really tried for a trick shot in uh, when we were out there. But uh, honestly, dude, there's they're doing a lot great in my books with World War Two, and like I I have spoken. I think I've spoken to Sledgehammer devs the like the most out of any of the other studios. Like I had a good relationship with Infinite uh, Infinity Ward. I uh, I started like. I started, like, the, the whole, like, what I do with, with DLC and everything like that. Um, I started that at the tail end of Black Ops 3, so I don't have as great a relationship with Treyarch. But, like, in, uh, Infinity Ward have a great relationship with those guys. Uh, Sledgehammer, I love those guys to death. And, like, I've talked to them. They have a lot of stuff still planned for the, the, the life cycle of World War II. They're really receptive, and they're really, like... They, they actively love to hear feedback from the community, so... They, I think that World War II still has a lot of, has still a lot of life in it, but is it worth pre-ordering? Um, I mean that's that's up to you. I'm not a huge fan of pre-order culture, um, but definitely if you guys want to get a shot at the beta, try that. And if you don't like it, then you can uh, you can you can jump on the board and uh, cancel your pre-order if you don't really like the game and how it plays. But I definitely think that you got to play the game before really uh, making any real 
making any real assumptions on the game. What's up, Russell? Um, do you think Black Ops 4 will revive COD to a certain level? Uh, I mean, if it's done right, yes. Thank you, actually. I appreciate that, man. Being released in August. That's an interesting time frame. I haven't heard that, actually, but you know what? It's it's possible. I don't know. Um, can you ledge slide? Yeah, actually, that was one thing that I did play around with, and, and Ink Slasher can tell you that as I actually yelled that in our comms. I was like, yo, you can lead slide! <laughs> So I don't know if that'll, that mechanic will still be there or if it'll go away, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be something that you know it's 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 definitely uh, it's definitely gonna be in this build that we had available. But they did re wait sledgehammer re remove requ requisitions. I can't talk. I don't know if that'll happen, but I mean I, I can see what I can do. <laughs> Brecky is not back, thankfully, but um, you got to pre-order to get the beta at the moment. But thank you, dudes. I think we're gonna wrap it up here. Once again, we have a minute left on the gameplay itself. Um, I'm gonna go work on another video for tonight, so maybe we have two videos going live, one video in about 55 minutes to an hour. Um, hoping to get that up soon, and then maybe around 8 or 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time we'll have another one. Hopefully, we'll see though, but um, yeah, that said, all that said and out of the way, thank you guys all so much for being here. I greatly appreciate you all, truly, truly. Uh, if you guys want to do more of this kind of stuff, firstly, once again, follow me over on Twitter because I can answer questions anytime there. Uh, and if you guys want to see more of this, feel free to let me know your thoughts and uh, drop a like on the stream. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited, man. I'm excited for Black Ops 4. I'm excited to get my hands on more gameplay. Hopefully uh, in the near future. Hopefully the beta comes out sooner rather than later. But that said, um, yeah, we're going to wrap it up, dudes. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. Can you inspect your weapon gun uh, or weapon or gun? Uh, not to my knowledge. Triangle is tethered to the um, to calling in streaks. But dudes... Revolvers we didn't see any we only had we only had one pistol that being the strife and it was a semi-auto kind of like the Glock But that said thank you dudes all so much for being here greatly greatly appreciate you truly truly do Once again drop a like if you guys enjoyed the stream make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding Call of Duty And of course one final time truly thank you all so much for being here greatly appreciate it. I'll see you guys maybe in the next stream if we do another one But definitely in the videos coming later today and in the evening and throughout the week all that good stuff But thank you dudes. I'll see you in the next one much love take care and uh, you have yourself a good day. Peace out.